the uh, attacker, uh, masked, and he said, this MAGA country punches me right in the face. So I punched his ass back. And then um, we started tussling, you know, it was very icy. And we ended up tussling by the stage. Lie! And above all, I fought the fuck back. Is he first? <laughs> Fucking lie! <laughs> I'm the gay Tupac. <laughs> because any sissy that's out in Chicago at 2 a.m. in the morning is trying to suck dick and not trying to get a motherfucking sandwich. I know what that means. Like, Let my man rock. Yo, but wait, 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 wait. Before we get to that, before we get to that. Because he's a thug, man. He <laughs> For real. Guys back. Wait, I, what I, the fuck I, does that mean? Wait, 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 wait. wait. How are you guys weekend, man? What y'all do this weekend? Man, fuck the police. But Damn, you you're the fucking police. That's what I'm saying. Like, what happened? You got fired from the cops? What's up? Nah, uh, nah, bro. I just been trying to uh, bounce back, bro. I just been trying to find some work. <laughs> what? Uh, like, you're on the. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Do you get fired? Uh, no. Uh, so, like, the job I'm working at now, uh, they told me that like my last day is the 22nd, and um of February. Yeah. Oh uh, shit. They, yeah, and like I had uh, put down a de- deposit and shit for my apartment for April the first, like a few yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, so, you told us about that. Yeah, so I've just been trying to. Shay, you, you know. can come sleep with me. No, I'm just playing. Yo, bro, you I don't even have the energy to like address you being a faggot today. Wow, we, I, th- I thought yeah, the f word was. Hard I thought we were done yeah, with that f bomb. Man, fuck them niggas. Damn, Corey, don't get oh, fuck all this hate crimes against gay people. You're really gonna use that shit? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just yeah. gonna disrespect the gay Tupac like that? Niggas are wilding out here. <laughs> Wait, Fruit, what you do this weekend other than some fucking raids, my guy? Uh, I no, raids are only Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Don't don't trip now. Come on, put some Wait, respect on his name. Nah, Fruit had a fu- wasn't it a week a weekend where Fruit uh, was? It's only Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, it was this, yeah. It was a Monday. Or was it yeah, Monday? It was Monday, yeah. Oh, so what you do, nigga? What do you mean? What did I do? I do the same shit I do all the time. Yeah, fucking... which, which is beat his mean nothing. Do you think? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? This nigga said nothing. <laughs> Quietly, what fucking you do? Go on fucking random Twitter DMs. I argue with people. I make fun of random people on Twitter. Uh, that sounds unhealthy. Quietly, uh, what you do? Fun to me. I don't care. I fucking work the whole weekend <clears throat> doing some bullshit I ain't like doing. <laughs> Wait, was everybody off life. today? I was off it's today. Christmas day. That's what I'm saying. Fuck that shit. Why oh yeah, fuck, fuck I forgot. I did fuck your mom. Because you got people in the healthcare whoa, industry and random people that, are, that had to work. <clears throat> some people, some people I knew some people in that the had health to work, industry. Though. You got to work on President's Day. Like a lot of yeah. people got to work on President's Day. Yeah, I work a lot today. of people got to work. I went, to, I went to Planet Fitness today, and the motherfuckers are short there to check me in. Shit. So well, the people that work at like the gym, they don't even really got a life. They, where else the fuck are they gonna the be? The fuck? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> Damn, yeah, that's like some people that work in special. My jobs nigga Trent, my time. nigga Trent work at a gym, yo. Never mind. Yeah. Shout out to people like everyone at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve all the days off. That is a good shout out to everybody <laughs> working at a gym. Hey, Alex, where you work at, bro? I don't got work. I ain't had a job in like two months. You don't have a job. I mean, I've been trying to apply, but they don't want me, cuz. Oh, well, uh, like, uh, you get back. nigga, you ain't got no job. What the hell? I ain't had a job, job. In like, I hadn't had a job in like, uh, what? I got fired in January. What? You got fired, nigga? You oh, lying. Oh, uh, where you get fired from? He, he was trying to toot that ass up for his manager. <laughs> <laughs> and he said no. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> my manager was a woman. That's what I'm saying. Why you say he? You didn't toot it up for him. No, because he's trying to use a strap on on your ass. No. Shut up! Oh my god, <laughs> you gotta always make shit gay now. What happened? You wait. Like, you just invited Corey to sleep with you. Yeah, you kind of. Yeah, because he needed yeah, someone to good. sleep. I got an extra room at my house. I say, come sleep with us. No, yeah. you said me. Come yeah. sleep with me. Come sleep with us. <laughs> sleeping with everybody. <laughs> oh, that Corey, hoe. It's the same shit. Wait, yeah. so what happened? Shit. He got caught beating his meat at work. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Why do people say that? That's like, I did, that didn't happen. Then what happened? <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Over was stealing boxes laughing? like Matt. Like, what happened? I don't even worry about it. Shit happened. Like, I'm not there no more. You know, it's whatever. Uh, I think it's like sounding like he got caught with back sexual back. assault or some shit. Like, I don't want to talk about I didn't it. Get the case, the assault. case is still pending. Like, no, the right. case is not I'm pending. I'm fucking fired. Station. The shit happened. Okay, so tell us what happened, Nick. We all family. Yeah. I mean. Uh. Nah, it's a, it's something fucked up because you don't want to talk about it. It's not <laughs> fucked up. It's just then stupid, talk about dog. it, nigga. It's just no reason to say it, dog. What do you mean? Why not? If it's, it's just stupid. Reason, <laughs> exactly. Let's say it. <laughs> what you get fired for, bro? You wasn't trying to build a clubhouse like that, huh? <laughs> no, I I got fired for signing up for classes late. Huh? That's it. That's it. I told you it's something stupid. There's no reason to put it like talk about it. It's just stupid. You had to like change your schedule and they was like, nah, fuck your schedule, nigga. You either gonna work here or not? Or like nah, nah I'm they, pretty sure he uh, works at his school, right? Yes, I work oh, on a work campus. Job. Yes. Okay. And so I didn't sign up for classes until like the last day because I always do that. And I got like waitlisted on all my classes. So they're like, Oh, you don't got uh like six credits, which is half uh half a semester. So they're like, You can't work here no more. And I was like, Damn. Right, man, whatever. I don't really give a fuck. That's trash. That's, yeah, that's, a that's trash. why it's stupid. That's a trash way. That is a trash way to get fired. You yeah, get exactly. Good, man, it happens, especially when it's your fault. That's why I told you. Damn. It's not <laughs> good, bro. It happens. You'll you'll bounce back. <clears throat> man, I'm calling you your job right now and saying that you said the faggot word, bro. Go fuck you, bitch. The faggot Call, word. You the said the fag- word. Right, the faggot <laughs> word. <laughs> <laughs> what if, like somebody was like, was like, you said the nigga word. Yeah, come on, dog. That's right. <laughs> you can't say the word. The word's being thrown around right now. Yeah, we got yeah, like, I like, I like to be respectful to all types of genders, all types of sex, all so types, of, types of all sex. types of sex. All right, I, I feel that. Has anal sex. That's Wait, um, somebody linked um my new favorite rapper, um, Blueface. No, Sonic Tone uh, something. No, 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 no. Serotonin. 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 <laughs> you guys know who that is? I think that was Fru who leaked that. Oh. Yeah. The GameStop dude. The GameStop. Whoa. <laughs> Excuse me. It's man. <laughs> it's man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> did you not listen to the track? Did you not listen to the track? Get it right. <laughs> listen to the fucking track. That beat was god awful, dog. <laughs> Yo. Me that woman. Bro, first off, this could rap like, on that fucking beat. Holy shit. It's like the live garbage. interpretation of white chicks. Uh, Yeah. Uh, I like, I mean, like I said, nineteen. With that entire situation, I still don't know why he got upset when the dude. I was like, that nigga still mad about GameStop. Yeah, she was like, the dude made a mistake, man, by saying sir, and it's just, you know, he went off. Now he's dropping tracks, and he's a a full time rapper. She explained it in the song, some of the lyrics. She said, "Misgender me once, yeah, you're gonna get corrected. The second time, I'm gonna get aggressive. The third time, damn, quality of the fucking (laughs) words." How many times have you listened to this track? Hey, bro, 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 I, I, I just want to let you know, bro, that you're a hoe because you uh, didn't ask me how my weekend was, bro. But it's all good. Oh, shit. I wasn't done, oh. nigga. He didn't ask quietly how his weekend was. I did. Right? He did. He got That's a mean true. pump in. Bro, we already know how Matt's week was. Nah. He fucking did some heroin and ended up fucking sleeping in a dumpster. Fruit, yeah. you got to relax. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Matt, 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 what did you do this weekend, dog? What did I do? Bro, I just worked. Oh, my God. I just worked. <laughs> really, come on, sir. <laughs> he wanted to, he oh, said, what did I do? <laughs> nah, I'm just saying. I'm just you saying. You really wanted to ask. ask fucking I'm, just, I'm just saying. He didn't ask. He asked everybody <laughs> except me. You can't leave me out. That's fucked that up. That was on purpose. That was on purpose for sure. Yeah, I bet it was, pussy. Now, that is funny as hell. Imagine, imagine, imagine having a group of dudes and you come through like, hey, you want some honey? You want some honey? <laughs> right. And no, ask this nigga. Like, even damn, if this nigga, nigga don't drink, he going to feel offended. Like, nigga didn't even ask me if I wanted no honey and shit. Hey, man. You know, I was going to say no, but I just want <laughs> to ask. At least ask yeah, you, nigga. Bro. Yeah, at least ask. It's just the common like courtesy, a, right? That nigga mm. called you pussy. I wouldn't take that, Cass. Mm, that's fine. Is that like uh, LA is coming? LA is coming. As soon as as soon as I got in here, bro, I, I tried to greet Brago, you know, um, you know, in, in nice terms, <laughs> and then I get called a hoe for no reason. Hey, so man. I mean, I'm like, okay, I called cool. it like I see it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yikes! Summer Yikes. is coming. No, you can feel it. Well, anyway, alrighty then, buddy. Anyway, uh, how many people re-listened to so far going this past weekend? 
Oh, I yeah. actually did, bro. I, I did. I, oh, I, I did. Too, actually. I, I did. Like was when I saw young niggas, was like, oh my uh, god. Yeah, right, right. Drake just dropped new. I was like, come on, come on, I, yo. I was Get like, it together. I was like, are we wild? And then I went to. I was like, so far that? gone, bro. Bro, so you far. know, you know what was crazy is I I tweeted that I said, yo, you play some of Drake's old music and like niggas would be like, uh, this, is that some new Drake shit? Yeah. And yeah, then he drops it. He drops that, and then I seen Corey tweet that out. Like people was people like, people were like surprised that it was. Uh, they thought it was new Drake songs. Um, yeah, yeah, young niggas. That shit was These that shit was a decade niggas. ago though, which is yeah. insane to think about. Um, and so far gone. I'm looking at the album cover. That shit is fire. Yeah, that shit is. is like a dope album cover. And then even listening to some of the tracks like November 18th and yep. Uptown. I'm going in. Nah, I mean, I, like my shit was a. Uh, um, uh, one night. Uh, one night off. A night off. A night off. A night off. A night off. Yeah, night off. Was yeah, fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shit is insane. I think, I think my favorite song uh, on that whole is uh, "Sooner Than Later," and then probably like "Say What's Real." Um, I think "Unstoppable" is probably like one of my favorite songs just because of how the flow was. That flow yeah. was nasty. That was insane. Like, yeah, you can't. You, you honestly can't do that shit in one breath. Like it's not you can't do that shit in one breath. But uh, that nigga Brago been trying. I have for, <laughs> for, for a decade, and I, I remember. <laughs> I, I remember when I like used to like look up the lyrics to songs and then like rap them as mm -hmm. I was reading it. And yeah. on that one, I could never do that shit. No, you can't. You can't. A um, little bit. A uh, little bit is my shit. Um, obviously, Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. Um, yeah, Houston, Atlanta, Vegas is a shit. Yeah. A little bit of slept on too. Niggas on like that shit is a, is a banging track. It is. Yeah, it is, bro. That whole album is. That was bro. fucking like, fire. Like, that nigga did fire. not miss, bro. He did not like, miss on on what? Whoa, nah, you're true. What? You're, you're, you're <laughs> really actually because, fire. Yeah. Because, because <laughs> look, so far, so far, Gone is arguably better than, or arguably no. Drake's best work. It it's all no. right. It is arguably. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go there. We're not gonna do that. I think I think the thing so take far gone take care is a monster. I don't know, bro. I was listening to uh I said if you're reading this this weekend. Lee. Oh my god. I said nah. argue. Uh, if you're reading this got some like fucking that. fire ass tracks that I'm like, I forgot about. Like yeah. wait, what what? Uh if you're reading this is too late. Oh, yeah, oh, this yeah, is too yeah, late. Yeah, has oh, yeah, that's another only one. good song on it. Six God. What? Know Yourself, like, Jungle, Legend. Uh, Legend? Oh, that's not Legend? even company. Up, no, company? but it's like Come energy. Um, what else? Uh, ten bands. Shit, even No Telling used to. Madonna. <laughs> yeah, now and forever. Now and forever. forever. Now and forever. Yeah, now and forever. And then you can't forget Bring 6 p.m. in New York. Six, yo, oh, yeah, come on now. That's 6 p.m. in New York. Yeah. That nigga, that Drake, nigga Drake just is just a pregnant. walking... He's a walking hit list, my guy. He just always... He's, think, he's fucking just been doing... You know niggas gonna be mad at shit I, like, I yo, y'all niggas sucking Drake, Drake off Drake, right now. So fuck I up. I think Drake's music... Drake's music gets better uh, the older it gets. Yes, that's true. Um, Because, like, nothing was the same. You go back and you listen to that now yeah. versus, like, if I was listening to that, like, three years ago, it's way better now than yeah, it, it hits, was then. It hits. It, hits. Um, it, it does. It does. But man, like, I would say, I, I, I would say, like Drake's best, uh, Drake's best albums. Take care. If you're reading this, is too late. Nothing was the same. Um, on any given day, you know, I could change. Could, yeah. Two and three. Yeah. I, I could change yeah. two and three, but I think Take Care is like his best. And so far gone. The only reason why it's not up there is because it's a mixtape. Yeah, te that's technically. it. Technically, that, yeah. it, it, exactly, and that's that's the only reason why I would not put it up there with like "Take Care" and "Nothing Was the Same." Is because it's it, when it first when it first came out, it really did come out free as a mixtape, and then later yeah. on, a few months later, once he kind of got popping, he re-released it as an album. I forgot who well, said he, this though. He released he released seven songs. Like it was yeah uh, yeah it wasn't the whole thing, he, and people yeah, bought it. It wasn't the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah people, people still bought, bought it. it. Yeah. Like bro, so far gone. That shit, that, that shit is crazy. I mean, the weekend finesse everybody like that for his first album too. He took all three of his mixtapes that was already out, added a new one new song to each of them, put it together, yeah. called it the trilogy, and went gold. But he's he's on the he re he re-recorded he re-recorded um yes. <laughs> he re-recorded all of the songs though. Like all the songs, they have new vocals. So like, if you listen to them versus you listening to like the ones you know the mixtapes, it does sound different because like he did the vocals over, but. Oh, okay. I forgot who said this, but somebody said that um, rap like or hip hop <laughs> or hip hop is like one of the only professions where your first work is normally your best work. Whereas, uh, like over time, it's like people say you're getting worse. No, uh, I would say like your first to third. 
I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think it depends on the rapper because, like, your first story is always your best story because nobody, mm -hmm. people don't really know you too much. <clears throat> they just get introduced. And yeah. then, like, especially if you've been on fire, it's just, like, the first thing that they could think of and remember. But as and you get, like, older, you can, you can release better music, honestly, and depending on is, other things that happen. Hip-hop is one of the few genres where, like, it constantly changes. Like, pop is, like, it sounds the same to me. Like, R&B changes a little bit. But like I think hip hop changes a lot more faster than like R and B does. The yeah. thing that I'll say about um about hip hop is that it's the only genre where you have to put out free music to get on. Like niggas that make country music, rock music, them niggas don't put out free shit. Yeah, they don't for, got no demos. Like for their, no yeah, they don't got demos. <laughs> the thing I, I don't know a lot about that 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 those genres, but um. Stop how fucking, how, how how saturated are those genres? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's way because hip hop is just like everybody's trying to rap. We saw yeah, look, serotonin yeah, I mean, the just dropped a track. Why there are so many mixtapes and shit like that is because there's so many fucking rappers. It's a lot of rappers. Right? True, yeah, the, true, the market true. is way oversaturated, so you can't just like fucking. There were, if there were as many rappers as there were now, and they're all dropping albums, I mean, you wouldn't be listening to half the shit that you were listening. I think to. we even felt like that, like last year, where a lot of music came out last year but with hip-hop and rap it's like more of a i'm not gonna say that it's easy but almost anybody could try to get into it and pick a lane but like if you can't sing and you can't play the guitar you're not gonna yeah. be a country you're not gonna be a country guitar singer like you just can't do it no auto tune can help you like you got to have certain kind of skills and other musical genres i'm saying auto tune could help you if you're like a pop singer yeah 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 but like for other kind of genres you really need that that extra that, that you can't just you know hop on SoundCloud and throw your mixtape up there. Yeah, because that, that's, that's the thing. The thing about mixtapes in general is that they're honestly mixtapes are probably better. Like, like end up giving you more money in like the long run because fucking album sales don't really give shit unless you're like fucking Drake or J Cole. Like, yeah, unless you're you're, unless you have a distribution deal instead of like a whole like. If you have distribution, then you can make a lot of money if, off your albums. If not, if you're, if you're independent you, or something, you really don't make a lot. Yeah, but also money off the, tours. For, the thing is, yeah. with a mixtape, if it if it goes, like you said, like Carly said, you're making money off touring because those songs you're touring yeah. off that shit. So oh, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. But it's just, yeah, I feel like exactly. it's just a lot, a lot like, more people thing, trying to rap. Yeah, the thing is, just because that's just because hip hop is like the fucking like biggest growing genre and like a lot of the other genres are still like stuck in the past well i feel, I feel like, like they're kind of is it didn't, didn't young thug technically not even put out his debut album yet like is it everything that yeah. he's put out so far a mixtape and that's my yeah, guy and his young, shit young thug, young thug he still doesn't have an album an they, official album you have him right that's it, that's facts uh yeah he yeah, he doesn't but i feel like that's kind of holding him back i, I don't know I I, <laughs> yeah. I, I I personally think that his time kind of passed you think? Um, yeah, I, I think, don't know. I think no. I don't know. I think oh, 100 percent. So. Wait, what are you fucking? I'm mean? waiting for some more mm, new thug. I was did, just thinking that how, earlier today. How did thug? How did thug's time pass? Because now it's oh, no one's really looking time. out for young thug anymore, like they were. Yeah, like, bro. No yes, way. bro. Come on, man. Bro, this if he, thing, I don't what know about that. Bro, yeah, thug be going crazy, no, bro. Man. Bro, yeah. I don't understand why, like, whenever this shit, like, happens, like, we have the same shit with, like, fucking, like, J-Rock. It's like, I'm not saying Young Thug's trash or his music's trash. I'm just saying his popularity has went way downhill. Like, you can't just say, oh, that shit's still bumping. It's like, yeah, okay, whatever. But it, no one, like, people, it's, like, the popularity is way down. You what's his, okay. He, 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 he stopped putting out music okay. for a what's year. His last, what's his last? What's his last? Was so, hey, his last hit. Slime, his last slime, hit. Slime I language. can't. I can't tell. Look, I can't tell you, um, like Young Thug's albums and stuff, because I don't listen to Thug like that. But this is what I will say: uh, Young Thug, he still gets high profile features. He's on um, a Havana song. He was one of the Grammy. only. He was. On, he was one of the only future uh, features on Future's last uh, album that he dropped. Mm -hmm. uh, and that nigga, did, like, like, bro, no. If if Young Thug dropped the album mm -hmm. tomorrow. Everybody would be bumping that shit. Yeah, but it facts. wasn't like how it was when he was like in his prime, like two or three years ago. Like, fucking, like literally all of his hits came out like in that same period. Yeah. Like fucking power check, fucking best friend, halftime, fucking with that. Well, like I all mean, those bro, songs. Like that nigga was on a promo run for Barter Six. Like, and I, I'm, I mean, bro, uh, it. I don't, I don't like these kind of discussions or like saying like somebody isn't uh, as popular well, yeah. because we can't gauge we can't gauge how popular he is quote unquote because he hasn't released any new music for us to say that 
I mean, I think, no, I think it's not even shit. just popularity and just releasing music. I think it's like a buzz as well, right? I mean, Where, Jeffrey, I mean, it was pretty recent and Slime season think, three. Slime, yeah, Slime no, language no, no, too. No, slime, was it? Slime, Slime language. Like instead of yeah, sign yeah, language, yeah, yeah, it's Slime yeah, language. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me let me look at the last. But that Slime that language thing was like him and a bunch of his new guys, which was that's the only reason why I really didn't like it. He was trying to put his new people on. Like how you know, Little Wayne used to have certain kind of mixtapes where it's like, here's gonna, here's gonna gonna, here's a. But, a you know what? Little, little I, twist. I, I think it was you one take of those a hit as well. All quietly after um the thing with Lil Wayne. Because remember it was like yeah. a slight beef where he started like the barter six and all that barter shit. Yeah, it was that was actually a big beef. He started getting a little disrespectful. We were like, yo, like that's Wayne at the end of the day. We fuck with you, but we don't fuck with you like we fuck with Wayne. So you gotta chill. Yeah. Bro, you got too and much it, it, on and some niggas that yeah. and it's some niggas that that's that's like uh it's a nigga named Saw Baby. Well, I think young I think Young Thug gave him the cosign though, but he sounds exactly like Young Thug. And his music oh, is actually saying. pretty lit. That's what I'm saying. I listen to him because there's a lack baby. because okay. there's a lack of Young Thug. That's so what I, I was saying. That's baby. what I was saying, uh, Matt. Where Young Thug, I think what two, three years, three four years ago, in which he had a unique sound. Now it's I think there's a few people that sound like Young Thug. So it's not. It's kind of like uh, where Drake was. I feel like for a while where he was like, that's Drake's sound. But then oh, now yeah. it's like a lot more people that, damn, that nigga, he sound like Drake. Like from Bryson Tiller to Tory Lanez to yep. all these niggas that you're like, damn, that's like a Drake sound. So now <laughs> Young Thug isn't as unique as he used to be. And then you got niggas, um, um, we're going to talk about him, YNW Melly, where people like... <laughs> Uh, I got murder on my mind. And people, people, like, <laughs> people saying that, yo, he remind him of Young Thug. But they fucking with him a little more now. Well, in regards to <laughs> no, him, I just think I just think that he's I just think that he's hotter because he's newer. All right. That, All right but, so if we're talking if, if we're talking about hot, then yeah, I guess so. Yeah. But I think like like the thing is, Young Thug, if he releases an album, people are gonna go get it. People are gonna go stream it. Yeah. And How many people? I, and like he's, I mean, I I think Young Thug would probably sell over fifty thousand, probably yeah, probably of uh, probably a hundred thousand first week. If I you're don't not think doing hundred. I think he is, bro. I, I think, think he is. Like, oh, I don't think so at all. I think he is. Hundred? I mean, 100? it would depend if the. I mean, if it was like a fucking like a, like a slime season type album, maybe. But right, if it was like, exactly. If it, if it was like fucking beautiful thugger girls, it's just not selling a fucking. Okay, well, I'm <laughs> surprised. Look, I'm, I'm talking. That beautiful I'm thugger talking girl about, might be slapping. Stop. It, I'm bro. talking about like a, <laughs> like an actual an actual young thug release where he goes on like a little run. You you know he has singles and stuff because now like because of how people take in music these days people think that they can just release music like uh like a j cole or like a drake and nah nigga you're not them like you ain't that big so you yeah. can't just drop some shit and expect niggas to go get that um great so slime language did 49k yeah, yeah but like i then, said that was an album with heavy features of his it wasn't just like just single thug songs. It was like yeah. features of his artists Bro, that he's trying to put on. There's a feature like literally on every song. On, yeah. It, on so that I don't really want to count that two. as a, like a like a solely young. Because the thing with the thing with rappers is like this: with older rappers, especially like legends or people that you you would consider mm -hmm. goats and stuff like that, even if they're not putting out music currently, it's like a banging ass meal that you could just throw in a microwave, warm up, and that shit is lit. But with the newer rappers, it's like they fresh off the stove. So mo more times out of not. You're gonna want that hot meal fresh off the stove, but like, don't act like these niggas can't just get thrown in the microwave for 30 seconds and still be a banging meal. Like they they yeah. they gonna come like niggas gonna want a piece when that shit is uh, you hear that timer hit. Niggas from the rage because we're talking too much hip hop. Let's transition to uh fuck <laughs> man. <laughs> Where we talking about Wait, uh, fuck, what do you mean? We still haven't even fucking gotten on most of the hip hop topics. Nah, hold on. We still got yeah, fucking yeah, we, 69 we, and YNW Melly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Let's like <laughs> move away <laughs> from it. Um let's talk about Melly. So, YNW Melly, for people that don't know, is a Florida rapper, right? And um, he released a song called Murder on My Mind in 2017. Um, but recently, he was arrested and charged for killing two of his friends, Christopher yeah. Thomas and Anthony Williams. Um, and now, his song is number one on the U.S. Apple Music chart. <laughs> um, and he's getting charged for premeditated, too. Yes, because of the shit that yeah. he said in the fucking song. 
it's not. No, it's not. It's, 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 it's not. It's not. Did y'all hear the song? In the song. Oh, yeah. Nah, it's not. It's not because of the song. It's this, because this murder of, uh, shit happened like a month ago. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. That song was yeah, like two years ago. That song was like. Yeah. But they're still no, no. The courts are still using that, using these lyrics in the song against him. Like they, they do stuff like that. Well, the thing is, though, is that like it was. Uh, I mean, they can use it because obviously it's it's kind of evidence because he's talking about <laughs> him. He, he's talking about himself. The but what shooter. I'm saying is, he didn't get jammed up because of that song. He got jammed up because um, he killed niggas. Because allegedly, th- no, he got he got jammed up because he uh, he tried to stage the scene as a like shootout, drive by. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Uh, but why would he do that if he wasn't? See, yeah, that honestly, makes it look a little fishy right there. Like, honestly, honestly, I. I, I don't know. We would have to get into the case details, but I honestly think he might be innocent. I think there's a good chance that he's innocent. Because the thing is, you got to think, those two guys that, like, died were, like, literally his best friends. Like, in his that song, uh, shit, Butter Fruit. Pecan. But why would he, he kill says, his I'm with best that friends, and Julie. Like, he, he talks about them in all of his songs. And, like, he has them, yeah. like, tatted on his face and shit. I don't know. This dude, it's possible that he's literally fucking insane and, like, something happened to where, like, they just pissed him off and killed him, but I don't know. Oh, that's yeah. wild. So, after oh. after hearing about it, of course, I went and I looked him up. I watched some interviews. I listened to some of his songs. And it was just like, he seemed like a, you know, typical Florida rapper. Um, seemed like he had a straight head on, head on his shoulders for the most part. Um, so, for him to do this, either he found out they were doing crossing him in some way, right? Or he, it's a setup. Or, like Froop said, there's something wrong with him. Um, as far as when it said he was a Florida rapper, I was like, man, Florida is wilding again. Like, it's <laughs> always Florida. Florida. Wild. It's just always some shit with him. I mean, I, the Murder on My Mind song, I like it, but I'm, like I said, I'm trying to, to reject it because, like, the message in the song is just so fucking graphic. And it's like, even just the like, Murder on My Mind is just like, why do you think my murder? Um, but I mean, I don't know. People are saying like he's in the vein of the Bobby Smurders and Takashi Six Nine, where you know his career is gonna be over before he really started. But I, I don't know. As far well, as yeah, he, well, he, he's telling on himself kind of thing and sending his own self to jail type of stuff. But but I don't think that's the case for him. <clears throat> but the thing is that this this can be a good move for him because I didn't even really hear this dude until this case popped off. And I didn't hear his music, and I, I went to go listen to that song, and I'm like, "Yo, this shit is bumping! Like, yeah. I like this shit." So it's like now I'm listening to the song. Now it's just added to the playlist. <laughs> yeah, I would have never, yeah, I would have never known. Yeah, I would have never known had it not been for this case. So because usually when I see when I see people that look like him, but it, is it is, worth it if he sound, ended up going to like jail? Nah, it's not. Nah, it's not <laughs> worth it if he actually is, is goes to jail. I'm saying if if it turns out you know he's innocent and everything, like the case helped him in the long run. But usually when I see like new rappers before I hear their music, this is the same thing. With Young Thug. When I first seen Young Thug, I'm like, oh, this nigga bugging. Even Takashi. I mean, these niggas look crazy. I'm not gonna fuck with this nigga music. And looking at the Melly dude, this nigga look like he fucking like filed his teeth with like glass yeah. or some shit. Like do some wild shit. So nah, like, yeah. Oh, I mean, the- he does look kind of strange. You know what I'm he saying? He look crazy, but the, the shit, the music slaps though. But for, for rappers that, like this, I, I like certain songs for them. But I'm not, I'm not going through the entire discog checking out like listen to the entire album. Like, I, oh no, 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 for nah, six nah. nine, I, I gotta respect you for the whole listen to the whole album. For six nine, I uh, I listen to some songs. But I'm not like yo. I don't go out and search any six nine. I mean, I live I live here in Jersey, which is like tri-state area. So mm. it's New York radio. So I only most time I hear him when they play him on the radio. He's not on any of my playlists. Not that there's anything wrong with him. I just don't care for the yellow screaming. Oh shit, yeah, I mean he's hot, so I hear the song. Yeah, you know, from a lot just of, because of the radio. A lot of rappers, especially now, aren't necessarily like album rappers. Right, they're more like single rappers and shit like that. Like. But even like shit, even Young Thug, I don't really listen to his albums like that. I listen to certain songs, but you know, yeah, oh, that, see, for me, I, I listen to the, to the whole Young Thugs, everything. So I, I can't Young listen. Thug I heavy. can't listen to the whole. Album, there's so. there's <laughs> not a lot of rappers. There's not a lot of rappers where I would listen to their whole project. Um, in this day, wait, did y'all watch like, All Star Game? Mm, oh, I actually did not watch oh, the, the anything. Watched anything All Star Weekend? Three point. I watched the highlights. I watched I was a little working. bit of it, and then J. Cole started singing, so I had yeah, to turn it off and I came bro. back. And Come on, on bro. J. Cole almost dunked on niggas. He almost dunked on niggas. He almost did. He almost did. He almost, but, he almost nah. you know, he got a little freaky with it. 
But he he botched it, you know. It was a good attempt. Good attempt. He didn't even warm up. He came off straight off. That's what I'm saying. That was impressive. It was an impressive attempt. That was impressive. Yo, he almost a highlight of All Star Weekend. Let's be real. Stop it. No, it wasn't. Ali, Ali, fucking garbage. No, it wasn't. Nigga, what? All Star Weekend was fucking. First of all, contest was fucking garbage. That's that's the only thing that was garbage. Skills challenge was fucking garbage. No, it was always gonna be garbage. The skills challenge. Celebrity All Star game was fucking garbage. Like what? Everything was garbage. No, why was it? Wait, 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 wait. Famous Los was kid, like wait, killing why, niggas. Why was the celebrity All Star game garbage? Did you see the score? I wanted to be like, I don't care. Care. what was the score? What was the score? Celebrity. I know it's celebrities. I mean, at one point they were like down double digits, so I didn't even care about the game. But exactly. Like, so you didn't even know the final score? No, I didn't watch. Like, I didn't finish it out because it was so garbage. Why would I watch something if I know if I think someone something's garbage? Why would I fully watch it? Wait, but how can you say something's garbage Bro, if you watch the whole how, thing? How is it garbage? Because I watched enough to know. You don't have to like sit through the first minute or like the entire thing of every single quarter to know it's fucking garbage eh, i'm not gonna you can't say that because even even watching a movie i've watched movies with 30 minutes and i'm like yo this shit trash but at the end i'm like oh <laughs> don't i this is why this, okay. is, oh. this ain't that bad like this make a little sense bro the celebrity all-star game was like i mean that's like a plot of a movie but I didn't we're, see we're talking about like fucking celebrity bro, all-star game where they're down the celebrity television. all-star game wasn't trash bro. if bro they, the game finished at 80 82. okay 80, like, 80 I saw the last oh, I saw the though. last couple of minutes where it was just like fucking uh what's it called? Who's the homie from Migos? Quavo just like launching up shots, making some lucky ass shit. It wasn't really it that was cool. exciting. It, was it wasn't close. It ended but, at eighty two eighty. On the J. Cole thing, right? Just because you had brought him up, like I seen like a little thing on Twitter where he dapped up some dapped up that Gabby. He knew. And that's Dwayne Wade. <laughs> I, don't know, I didn't even pick. He said pick some like dude Wade, that right? he knew. That's I, I was like, yeah, that I, was I Gabriel Union. Wade. 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 So, <laughs> but then he dapped <laughs> up. I, I couldn't even tell that was Gabriel Union. So he yeah, dapped yeah, up Gabriel yeah, Union. Yeah. Is yeah. that is that the move when you meet your when you messing with like your, your homies, homies' chick? When you meet him, do you dap him up or like? Uh, bro, you, like I don't even want to touch my homies' chick. I don't. I don't hug my homies' chicks. Yeah, I don't touch them. So you give So you give them a dap too. Yes, I just. Oh, oh, or you give like the little half joint. No, like the little, the little side, the little work hug. If no, I mean, how close are they? You can't give her. You can't give her the two hand around. No, 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 no. Hell no. You give it the work hug. You give the give the work hug. The work hug. The one one hand on the side joint. That's what you give like your homies, girl. I mean the I dap mean, the dap is kind of like crazy like you know I'm saying what if you friendly the dap like, is what if I, like I see uh, a girl yo you don't do that y'all like that oh, yeah, give her a little hug catch catch a little sniff they like, said okay I see what you like mean. like what kind of shit you talking about Corey. this nigga said catch a little sniff <laughs> like, like yeah, Corey's girl whip. I I don't know I don't I don't Corey's girl I don't I don't hug I don't hug my homies girls bro yeah that's weird that shit's weird you say you fuck Corey's girl. Whoa. Bro, this nigga here. Bro, bro, are you going to LA? <laughs> <laughs> no, that nigga's not going. And it's, it's crazy. Like, bro, why are you, you mad at me, with your fam? Hands like you should that? be mad at him. He's the one to fuck your girl. Yo. Yeah, oh my yeah. god. We're not about to start this, my nigga. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. We're not, bro. What's crazy was I just uh, yeah, watched. Yeah, guess what? Yeah, I just watched yeah, uh, yeah. the Best Man today. Again. Oh wow. The Best Man. Yeah. That movie with Kevin Hart. No. No, no nigga. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kick this nigga, no, dog. Um, hey, kick that nigga fruit if I beat his ass. Um, <laughs> with Tate Diggs. With Tate Diggs. Tate Diggs and like, Mars Chestnut. Oh, my God. Didn't we talk about this shit like the other time where you said the dude cheated on his best friend with his fucking wife and then later some shit happened? He cheated Let on his best you. friend. <laughs> <laughs> ain't even a fucking homie, first of all. No, but the no, whole no, situation no. where if you can hug, you can hug your best friend's wife. If y'all like, if that's his fucking wife, like, what are you afraid of? It's not. It's, it's not that you're. Thing, yeah, it's it's not that you're afraid. I respect bro. it, Corey. Just... So if I if we're like best friends, Corey, yeah. and uh, I've known your like wife for a long time, and so you she's considered a, a friend hug? too. Yeah, exactly. Hug. What the fuck's wrong hug. with that? Yeah, you yeah. give us a hug, bro. Not it's... like a full on hug. Like we family. No, like nigga. what's wrong with that? Ah, uh, well, you are right. You are right. I think no, you are right. If you're best friends and it's like it's your best friend's yeah. wife. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. not bad. Like, yeah, yeah. like I'm gonna treat her as family now. Cause yeah, exactly. We're exactly. best friends. You're yeah. my. But the brother, thing is, no, I, I, I agree with that, Ali. I, I agree with you. But I feel like sometimes 
It depends on the relationship. It depends on the, on the person, but, right? What he said. Yeah. What, what, but look, this is what Quietly said. He get a whiff. Said, get a whiff. You, yeah. He said, "Do you dap up your homies' girls?" No. Nah. So you're, we're not talking like, like, like we're not talking about we're not talking about somebody that has a rapport like that. We just talking about hey, uh, if I if I just so happen to bring my girl with me oh, to LA and then y'all see y'all see her, hey, this my girl. Oh, oh I'm up? not touching. I'm not. I'm, it, what's up? It depends. Like, it what's up? It depends how long. It depends how long. If I'm your, if I'm your, like if I'm your best friend, no, nigga, it don't matter how long I've been with her, bro. <laughs> if you just intro, bro. If I'm introducing I'm you not, to my girl, bro, or just what's up? It's just what's up, girl, bro. It's just what's up. Yeah, it's just a what's up. Yeah, bro. just what's like, up. Nah, don't it's don't like, hug hey. nothing. I think J Cole. People are saying J Cole dapped I mean, her up because he smashed her bro. before. Like you, yeah, yeah. It did look like that though. That's like when you be like, yeah, I ain't even trying to. But the thing is, did you guys hear about Gabby's book? Yeah, that's crazy. Where she said, yeah, like, if you have a vagina, use it. So she said she had a yeah. lot of sex. Basically, um, for the audience, she was saying, like, she went through, not even, I wouldn't even say a phase, but, like, she's, like, you know, empowering herself and, like, mm. other women. It's like, nigga, like, do the same thing niggas do. Like, she was enjoying sex with men. Yeah. And she was, like, you she know, casual sex, fa- cool sex. Yeah. Whatever. She was just out like, she had, di- she had dick appointments. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why, why does that even matter? Is it because she's a celebrity? Like, what? Uh, it's not, it's not like it's, her. it's one of those double standards. So yeah, she wrote a book, book about people uh, stuff that people are already doing. Like what? Yeah. No, but no. the thing is, she I'm wanted for- to stop people from like being shamed to say just because I'm a woman, that I mean I can't just be out here busting my shit wide open. I mean, yes. that's what she but we, to- but the thing is, we know better <laughs> though. We know better. You know how niggas busting bust my, my shit wide, wide open. The thing, you know, the thing you is, know go ahead and bust your shit wide open and like see how many. I don't know. Like not too many niggas gonna be lining up. That's what I'm saying. If this book had released, everybody came to the same store. Everybody's not gonna like. Everybody got the same shirt from the same store. Everybody, all, all, all of us in the podcast go to the same store to get the same shirt. After a while, it's like niggas don't want that shirt. Everybody got the shirt. You want to go get a shirt? Nobody got from somewhere else. Like, yeah, y'all niggas yeah. can't get this. I'm, I'm not like, gonna lie, bro. I'm not would would Wayne Wade have married her if this came though? out before? Like, I'm pretty kinda sure kinda everyone goes to a Supreme store to get the same fucking shirt. Quietly, I don't know what you're no, talking about. No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, if you're I'm celebrity, no, 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 Ali, Ali, Ali. That's why celebrities are weird. They fuck with the same bitch. Every time, yeah, sure, but that's Ali, 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 Ali. Was, we got a big ass bro, bowl of chips. Are we gonna act like everybody goes back to their hand. ex? Everybody sticking their hands in a fucking bowl of chips. You want to eat out that same bowl? Bro, like no, no, okay, niggas okay. Just put their hands in? Wait, hold on. You so want Brago your fresh? Just, oh, you want your yeah. own bowl? So Brago just said, uh, celebrities are weird because they always go back. It's no, like, no, 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 yeah. Well, say what you said again. Say what no, I say they, they always they always they always fuck with the same bitch. Where it's like you have Future and Bawa, right? They have the yeah. same baby mama. And then Blake and Griffin. All the women Blake and Griffin because, and oh, so you said like everyone, everyone wants to They met the same China. chicks. The mess with the bro, same look at, look at look at Karuchi, bro. Them like do you know how many niggas passed Karuchi around? Look the, at Black it, China. It, it doesn't make well, no fucking Black, Black China with Big Draco like, now. Like once, once, once these girls date like a certain status of a celebrity, they don't want to. Yeah, they, they used to go. Yeah, back. they don't want to so go back. Stay in that same. What's the name? What's the name? Basketball player. It's other basketball. Lira players. Galore. Well, Lira, was it Lira Galore? Is that that's the name? Yes. Well, yes. And, well the she, thing she is, was like, was she was messing with girls. She was messing with Elan Stevenson. She's like she now she's with P and she pregnant from QC. Bro, that oh, shit. Oh yes, that's true. That's yeah. true. That's, that's true. That shit is weird as fuck, bro. How oh, celebrity and and before niggas. that, before that, Matt, she was messing with Meek Mill before Rick Ross. Yes, yeah, remember was. that picture? Yes, oh, she definitely, she, was. she definitely she was. was. But what's what's weird about these celebrities is that they can literally get any bitch that they want. But they want your right? bitch. They they <laughs> they can get they can get any bitch, but they choose to fuck with the same bitches they, because yeah. because the thing is is that. It's more about who you're seen with That's and true. not what the actual love is like. It's like, oh, okay, like she makes me look good because she compliments me well. And that's why a lot of people like in real life, like fuck with the people that they fuck with. It's not even because of the connection. It's because of the attention that that'll bring them. It depends on the type of individual you are. That, I also think that's why I also don't think so. No, that's true. That's true. But, I also but, don't look, think that's just no, nah, 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 no, no, no. I did. I just said that it's not just celebrities, bro. I literally just said it's real, it, like it's real life people too. Um, oh, okay, man, man. I, like I, I get what you're saying now. That, I get what you're saying. Because I've heard like celebrities say that like they like being with like girls that are also like in the like, industry uh, so celebrities. They so like, well, not even just that. So it's like okay, like say for example, I'm Chris Brown, right? 
and I'm with like Rihanna, right? And like fucking, we love each other, whatever. Blah 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 blah. I know that yeah, she doesn't love me just because I have my money, because like <laughs> she's like her own, she has her own success and everything too. I I know she's not just some like fucking gold digger, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah but bro, but then but they, they but then they mess with the Instagram, Instagram chicks. Yeah, yeah, we talking about these Instagram hoes that just be out bro, here, bro. Every, yeah, that's like, bro, that's, that's so rare. weird to me. We're talking about, we're talking about these Instagram bitches, bro. If you look at Karuchi, right? Karuchi literally went. She, she Chris fucked Brown put with her somebody. On. Yeah, exactly, she fucked with Chris Brown. Chris Brown like helped her, you know, just get there. Mm -hmm. He helped her get there. Then she starts fucking with Quavo. People that have more money, and she starts going up and up and up and up and up, bro. I don't think that. Like, like, look at Amber Rose. Look oh at Black God. China. I just think of Amber look Rose. At all, look at all of these bitches, bro. <laughs> they they just start off. And then, yeah. and Black China, China, I just want to say this. Black China is hanging on by a thread because at this point, she's trying to date all the younger dudes. She's dating Kid Boo. And you know, you know what? It, it was the other no, young No, she young, she, 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 she with big, uh, big Draco now. But, what? Yeah. She, yeah. She, yeah, she, yeah she, I saw she, that. She's with big, oh, Soulja Boy. Big Gucci Soldier. Anybody, I'm like, this is just my personal thing. Anybody dating Black China? You got to like reassess your whole life because you know, but the thing is some, some mistakes that quality, to this, quality. This I think I think now weird. black child, like, black China is just like Kenichi. she's just a body for people now. It's like like I'm just knocking down. But that body don't even Whoa. look good. Like what kind of bro, body and, that, and, and, and look, that's a th but, that's another thing, bro. Like I'm saying it's like, oh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna just be around black China for a little yeah. bit because I know like the type of tension. That yeah, bring. that's it. That's that's literally all it yeah. is. But the thing is quality, quality. I think a lot of these dudes in the industry, it's like. Knocking him down is that's just a, a notch on your belt. Even if it's, it's just even if it's just black China's like yeah, I, I thought black China. That shit nasty, bro. This is, is this a notch? Yeah, yeah. Her, her, her and then like I, I've seen her give head, nasty. bro. She was doing the least. Bro, I, I seen her fuck her ass didn't move. This shit. I mean, like I think I think that was a bad day for her, Corey. Nah, honestly, or, I, or she just didn't want to do it. Right, because, right, exactly. Like, yeah, let's, let's it's hard real, for me bro. to think so, black China is out here like that, and that's that's like. What you that's like, bro, you don't get the sloppy toppy from uh from every bitch that you mess with. Yeah, you don't get the sloppy one. You don't, get, you, don't, you don't even get that nine times out of ten. Because like, some you know. some, bitches, be some bitches moment. fuck with you. Some bitches fuck with you. Uh, you know, way more than other girls do. And then yeah. you know, some bitches just be there for a uh for a good time, not a long time. So we caught a we caught a hula hooping. It was a bad time. Bad moment. Hula. Yeah, she had a bad game. That's it. She had a bad game. She had, she had a, she, she had had a bad career. That, she had a that shit looked terrible. That shit looked yeah, terrible. Yeah, I know bad. exactly what video Corey's yeah, talking it looked about, bad. too. It looked bad. Yeah, I saw that, it. It looked pretty bad. Yeah. I would have been like, like, I would have been like, all right. All right, cool. Yeah, 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 you don't, don't want to do this. I would have dapped her up. You don't want to do it. It's all good. Y'all think it's too nice because I would have been like, we going to keep going so you get this shit right. Nah. Quality's torture these chicks, yo. That's why. See, look, check right. it, check Let it, bro. Let me if go I'm, to the gym right quick because you want to act like this. I'll be right I'm, back. If I'm getting some bad, if I'm getting some bad head, bro, like I'm just like, hey, bro, just, like it's, just it, stop. it's a turn off. Yeah, that shit is a super you know, they, turn off, bro. That it's like you go to a restaurant, you, right? They want you and to they tell they them like bad appetizers. Yeah, that's yeah. fucked up. Yo, that's fucked up as fuck. Just stop. Yeah, yes, yes. Like, nigga, just you stop. You're gonna tell her. Hey, sometimes you gotta I'm, think I'm about dead, it. I am dead ass going to tell her to stop. Like, get the yeah. fuck off my dick. Like, lay down. Let me fuck you. Oh my Let god. Let me get this nut real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, all, all you got, all you gotta say is turn around. I'm dead. Like, like, bro, I'm like, dead okay. ass, bro. Like, That's yeah, all right, all right, bro. All right. Like. You know what I? They're doing that on purpose. Vulgar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they don't. Like, you can, yo, yo you can tell when a girl wants to do it. You can yes, tell. Yes, you can tell exactly. You can, you tell. can tell when a girl wants to give you head. Ever, I don't think they ever want to do that. Oh hell yeah, quietly, bro. Quietly, 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 maybe not you because the shit you be doing. Oh no, because you be doing. You be on some other shit. Hey, bro. You on some other shit, like nigga. I've gotten I've gotten some some amazing A1 head in my life, bro. And I'm like, uh, yeah, okay, cool. You can keep doing this. Go ahead. Do your yeah, thing. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. put it like this quietly. You like eating pussy, right? Wait. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like, That's out of nowhere. Like, so, so I'm saying like, go ahead. Well, how is it like bad to understand that like just girls like, like some girls just like stuck a dick? Uh, well, I don't know because... Uh, Could you dare uh, like quietly, if you had it, uh, quietly, 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 if you had the opportunity to not give head again for the rest of your life, right? Would you be okay with that? 
if I had the choice to like yeah, do that, or where you like, didn't have to do it for, again for the rest of your life, wouldn't affect I, your why relationship. Why would I do that though? Why would I not? Like what? what? That's what I'm exactly. saying. Exactly. That's the what I'm same saying. thing for them. Yeah. This, this tongue game be getting them chicks off. Oh, I don't know what the oh, fuck is going God. on out here, but shit, it, I about to, I about to give up one of my secret weapons. Use, uh, use <laughs> that's what, that's bro, what I'm saying. That's what, bro, to, that's, to some of these women, what we saying to some of these women, that's their secret weapon. Like some women know, so like women that are smart and women, if you're listening, um, some women know that if they give you like some good ass head, that the sex is going to be better yeah. naturally. Yeah. Like and they, I know like a handful And they of get girls, more into it. I know a handful of girls that's like, yeah, like I just love it. If you get good ass head, there is no sex because you done bust off already. And you're done. Mm. Not what? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you know, the head, but you still lasting thirty minutes, huh? I thought we had this conversation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Lasting yeah. thirty minutes, yes. Oh, I'm, like, yeah. I'm smashing, but if I'm already done, if I'm already done. I don't like. What do you mean? No, if you get off the head, the, it, yo, the intro question, uh, the question I had for us was honestly like, is it okay for your girl to give you pussy on Valentine's Day? No. No. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> listen, listen. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. I, I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. That's the most pointless holiday in the world. Hey, put it brain. like this, bro. Like, okay. it, your girl would be pissed, bro, if you know you was like, I got a surprise for you, and then you gotta blow around your dick. I mean, she's just like, yeah, nigga, what, bro? Like, like, nah, girl. Like, like, like yeah. oh, she would be pissed. So this is the thing. This, this is the thing, bro. Giving, giving sex as a gift. That's it's shit trash. that we did. That that was shit that we did in high school. I'm gonna junior high. It. It's trash. No, nigga, I'm <laughs> so, not taking that shit. You can keep. You can keep in a relationship. Shit. That's oh, typically oh, what happens. High maintenance I'm gonna, I'm gonna now. No, in a relate. No, in a relationship. That's that's typically what happens. You get a girl, get the woman a gift, and then she give you. Man, pussy she give you. Plus nah, bro, that's bullshit. That's, that's bullshit. Garbage. Because yeah, look, yeah, yeah, that's I, bullshit. No, I hear you. I, that, that's, that's, I agree. It is. That's garbage, why I but say that Valentine's Valentine's is, is for women. It's no, pointless. it's not. That's the thing. No, 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 no. They mess it up. It's a, it's a, it's a. It's for, it's love. love. No, it's couple. love. It's for love, right? Yeah. Technically, it's for love. No, it's but not, it's been, it's, it's been, it's been turned into it's for women. Where, where, where women, with the women, your girlfriend's they, supposed to buy you an expensive gift too on Valentine's that's Day. That's not happening. Okay, exchange. look, that's listen, not happening. Listen, listen, bro. Why? What? Why oh, do you have to buy happen. somebody a gift on Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day is like any other day, bro. I show you love, like, like, nigga. Yeah, okay. Okay. Look, that. look, look. This is this is what it's niggas a special day to show more Valentine's. love. This is what Valentine's, uh, what you do on Valentine's Day. You take your bitch out to eat, uh, something like that, yeah. or you get go, a rose. You go on a very, you go on a very nice date, That's right? Fair. So I've done shit for girls that I would do on Valentine's Day. Like I took uh, one of my bitches out to a picnic at a uh, at the Arboretum down here in Dallas, bro. And that oh, was just on a bro, real nigga. Like, like that was just on a on a regular day, bro. You just trying to fuck. I'm, no, nigga, I wasn't even trying to fuck because <laughs> wow. you know what happened. Come you know on, what happened. I'm not after taking that a bitch shit? in no picnic yeah, unless I'm trying to fuck. Take it to a nigga, picnic, I'm, if I'm taking a picnic, I'm trying to fuck. Yeah. Look, bro. Look. I don't know I who you fooling. To, I, just I don't know who you fooling. I wanted to do it, <laughs> nigga. You can ask this nigga Corey, bro. I just oh, did that shit. I did. I, I did know. something nice no. for my girl. Hey, wait, did you smash already? No. Yeah, I smashed already. Oh, okay. Yeah, like nigga, it, and that's the thing, bro. I don't be doing shit for pussy, bro. I'm not pressed for that shit because I can get it whenever. And uh, that's no niggas have been the comments like stop fucking lying. Right, right, yeah, right, they, right, right. They right. probably are. They probably are. But listen, go, like man, hype if, yeah, I, go if again. I do some shit, if I do some shit like that, bro, on a regular given day, why the fuck do I gotta go out of my way to to do a crazy expensive date on Valentine's Day? That's just you, you know what you know what fuck I think, why, and, 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 but, and one more thing. Let me just let me just say one more thing. Why would I go out of my way? To get the same pussy that I always get on any other given day on Valentine's Day. Facts. Well, the that thing is, it can it, it can be um, seasoned in different ways, I guess. On that, you day. know, you know, nah. you know, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you do different shit on that day. Maybe she hit a bath bomb. Yeah, you do different shit on that day, <laughs> bro. Bro, listen, listen. I I don't know many bitches that have been taken out on a picnic, bro. Okay. Like a lot of bitches. If I'm not, kind of bitches you nah, a, no, a nah, lot of nah, nah, what he's saying. No. What he's saying is true. I don't. I have because I. I, I mean, it must like I, I see that when I when yeah. I go to like a park, you see a lot of bitches on dates. Yeah, with fucking dudes. What are you talking about? Nigga, you act like going to a picnic is like going to a fucking five star restaurant. Have you taken your girl? <laughs> <out of laughs> have, have you taken your girl out on a picnic, nigga? No, but we went to the park. And okay, the same shit. exact. No, nigga, that's nah, not the same yeah, shit. Nah, it's the not the same thing, bro. What the picnic fuck? is a whole nother level, my guy. Bro, this <laughs> nigga here. The basket in the blanket. 
Under the sit. Come on. Yeah, like, yeah, you, I've, you def- I've definitely, I've definitely done that. <laughs> the picnic ain't no joke. Yeah, picnic, picnic, picnic. Yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a dope concept. It's, it's, a, it's a, it's, a, it's a great thing to do, especially when it's a great day. You got, you know, um, a blanket. You got fruits. You got, you know, it's a good time. You Man. got, you get her favorite foods. Like, bro, you gotta, you gotta think because, like. Some girls don't like the same shit, you know, as as other girls do. So you got to figure out, okay, well, what you like to eat? You know, it's you a process that, that shit. It, bro. Like, it's a pro- gotta, yeah. You got to time it. Make sure the food is hot. All all of that. It got to be a good day. Like I said, perfect day. Can't be too humid. You know what I'm saying? It got to be a can't good day. Can't be too hot. It yeah. got to be. Make sure you got like your off and shit. Off. All of that, like, bro. Do you you got to really think about a picnic because what y'all drinking? It's a lot of shit to go into that. Yeah. And then you might do all that shit and she still not even want that shit. Yeah. That's facts. Oh, then we throwing that one away then. <laughs> wait, that. the, uh... That's super facts. Wait, so did y'all do anything special for Valentine's Day? Fuck no. Man, nah. <coughs> Corey, you don't got to lie, Corey. <laughs> Fuck no. Fuck no. Like, like, no, bro, time, I'm, like I'm on hard times right now, bro. I told y'all my situation. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay, so, okay. bro, but like, I still almost got hell for... Because like, she was off on Valentine's Day. So, like, mm. you know, I, I imagine she was just scrolling and seeing all the shit that people was doing. And I was like, nigga, like, that's the thing. Like, that's, that's the thing because a lot of niggas, a lot of females, I'd say, they go all out as far as putting, they put that shit on Instagram, right? Niggas they, do. Or Twitter. Niggas, well, I don't know. I didn't see a lot of niggas posting what they did for their girl. I just saw bitches posting, like, what p- niggas did for them. And of course, if your girl see that, she's like, damn, like, all these bitches out here putting the shit out. What did you do for your girl? I didn't do anything. Thank you, wow. Rocco. Exactly. Like, nigga, you been with your girl like a decade, right? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, the You're thing, I mean, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't actually time. go over well. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> but, and the thing <laughs> is, it came from just like influence, I think. Like, we're just everything just on the timeline. You know what I'm saying? Where everybody was doing all this extra shit, shit like bro. going. So you were about to do something. Row, you look at your timeline and you're like, I can't do that. And so you're like, fuck it. We ain't doing shit. Um, nah, he, nah. I mean, it was like I can't really do shit, or I'm not like motivated to do this shit based off whatever the fuck they got going on. If they have anything, nah, going on. I me mean, honestly, I was just it's like, just a fake. Ass I just wasn't holiday. feeling the it's day. The thing, I just like had Christmas, a you, like, yeah, bro, yeah. I just wasn't feeling the Christmas. day. I was just <laughs> out of it that day. You know, what I'm every saying? holiday is a fake holiday. There's no such thing as a real holiday. Yes, there is. Well, that's yeah. no, yeah, well, that's I mean, yeah, that, that's, that is kind of true. But I'm just, it's just so so much. So the birth of Jesus isn't important. Valentine's Day, a day just popped up out of nowhere, and now I gotta drop close to like three. It's commercial. I mean, most holidays, most holidays pop out of here. fucking it, nowhere. Like, but so um, man. I couldn't really do much. So what I did was I got like uh two tickets from uh for like a burlesque show. Um, paradise. Uh, two and, tickets uh, to paradise. <laughs> but no, it was pretty dope though, because it was like, hey amazing. man, it's better than chocolates in a condom. Let's be real. Yes, nah. yeah, you, you, no, no, you, 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 yeah, you sprinkle some creativity on that one. I like that. No, that's cool. Nah, well, okay, that's yeah. why you my guy, Corey. Good shit. Yeah, so we got there, and basically, um, it was like a mini club, and it had like stripper poles in it. And I was like, what the fuck is this, cuz? Mm. And like, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then it was nothing but like, like older black yeah, couples and shit in there. And then, like, I was like, okay, so we're gonna see. So this chick come out, and she in lingerie. And then, like, she's, like, the host, and, like, she's, like, yeah, we gonna, like, we about to turn this shit up tonight. Like, we we all grown in here, so it is gonna, it's gonna be what it is. And, uh, <laughs> and I'll, I'll, be, like, I'll be, like, no, it ain't. <laughs> no, it ain't. <laughs> Got me all the way <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> and she's, like, you know, so she's, like, let me talk to my women. Like, women, are, like, if you hear what you, uh, how many women are here for what they, uh, significant other, and like, you know, everybody was, ah, whatever. And she was like, well, you know, there's going to be some clothes getting taken off. And Whoa. And it's a, this is a highly, like. Uh, well, go ahead and link me that spot, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. highly interactive show. Like, people going to get pulled up for, like, different activities and nope. shit. So she was yeah, like, okay. Yeah, so, like, this is what you expect. Don't get mad. And it's like, man, fellas, like, this is what's going to happen. Oh, shit. Corey got pulled up on stage. Yeah. Still don't put in his ass. Nah. <laughs> 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 
Yo, <laughs> putting a nigga up on stage and put a dildo in his ass is crazy. Right, that's gonna be like, yo, Corey, close that's down. rape. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> um, but it was pretty dope. Like she, like, like she was like, uh, she gave a few niggas lap dances. Like it was comedy, like sex stories. It was like kind of sexy to be with your partner. It was cool. It was different. Whatever. Oh wait, okay. So based off that, would you guys ever oh. go to a sex club with your girl? Sex no. club? Yeah. Like a like a like a swingers club? A sex like club? A strip club? Nah, a sex club. The fuck like, is like, like what are you talking club, about? Bro. Like what are you talking nah. about when you're it's saying like, sex club? But a sex club isn't like it's like they have like a like a whole thing of condoms and like niggas just fucking everywhere, right? Pretty much. Oh hell no. Yeah, that's like a swingers club. Well, no, I'm not no, necessarily. You know, are you talking about the Russian videos where it's just le- legit bitches with their legs? I don't know about, I don't about all videos. that shit, but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, yo, you wild as no, shit. No, no. I, I think I've seen that doing? sex club shit. They yeah. got swings and shit. They got power tools. Yeah, yeah. So you got different rooms and people are doing shit, but it's like you go in, but the thing is you got to be, you got to come with a woman. You can't, niggas can't just roll up in there by themselves. So yeah, you got to go with the woman. It's going to be all niggas in there, right? So women can, obviously women can come together. So it's like they want to have more women than men, but it's uh they got rooms you can do special shit. Obviously, condoms are around niggas. It's a swingers club, bro. That shit's, bro. That shit's not necessarily club. swingers because it's Wait, like it's legal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where they do this at? If Everywhere. You, wear? <laughs> you gotta bring not a girl. With you. you gotta bring a girl with you, Ali. Man, it don't cost that much to get a girl. <laughs> you gonna pay for a girl? You can just ask your homie. <laughs> I mean, it depends what I'm trying to do. If I'm just trying to go fuck, yeah, I'm gonna like. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I got a question. You can just ask your homie. What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. I got a question though. Well, I got a question. What if you bring serotonin? Serotonin. That's yeah. me. Yeah, they they got a letter in. Count. Do they got a letter in? It's ma'am. Yeah, it's ma'am. They got a letter in. Nah, they can't let oh, her. That's that nigga name. Yeah. It's Sarah not a nigga. It's a nigga. That nigga name is Sam. Yo. That's his rap name, I think. Wow. That's, that's Yo, quietly, you wild. Wait, I'm saying, but that's like, would they? Do you bend the rules for that? Like, okay, it's I identify as a woman. What is there to bend? It's she's a woman. What's well, a lot to bend? Man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yo, Corey, you gotta, you got Corey, you gotta evolve your mind, dog. These, no, these bro, that nigga has days. the X and the Y chromosome, bro. That nigga's a man. It's Damn, ma'am. It's ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Is like, a, that bro, nigga's a man. Bro, this nigga was you gonna say that to her face? Like, first of all, I bet he won't. Was she was built. Like, oh, are you gonna say that to her face? She was built. She was ready. Yeah, I'll be like, bro, she wasn't playing with these niggas. Ma- I'll be like, if you don't sit your masculine ass down, like, yo, Cody's cool. gonna be that dude in the video. Yo, just hop in. Just she hop gonna in. fuck you bro, up. Like, keep playing. It was a, it's a poor attempt. Like, bro, it's one thing. Like, if you want to be transgender, do your thing. I don't care. But like, that nigga didn't even look remotely like a woman. Like that nigga. What do you mean? What do you mean? Want to be? Trans- well, he had a he had a they're, handbag. They're born, they're born. They're born that way. No, they not, bro. Stop that shit. Yo, Corey, you straight up, like, listen, man. <laughs> if you're gonna be transgender. You better be fine as fuck, straight up. Right. You can't no, look like a man. I'm not, say- I'm not saying you can't bro, have a strong jawline. Look, all I'm saying is serotonin look like a, a nigga with a wig. That's what serotonin. Yeah. Is. <laughs> Here's the thing. If somebody if if, if somebody you. came into like when I was working at a bank, right, and somebody came in to withdraw money. I would try my best to avoid even using any pronouns. You just be like, "Hey, how you doing?" How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not, I'm, I, I'm not sure, and I don't want to offend you. But I know it was like one time I was on the train, I was coming home from work, and there was a trans um, gender person Perfect. sitting next to me. And the thing is, I didn't notice it was a transgender because most, most of the bottom the half was that good. No, no, no. Most I, I didn't look at the. I don't really look at the face of the people sitting next to me normally. So it's like most of the bottom half. Like you checking out that ass. Look like male, right? So I thought it was a man. So I didn't notice it was a transgender until I, I had to get off the train. Then I walked past, and I like you know you're walking past somebody. This time I, for some reason I looked like dead at the person. I was like, oh, oh shit. Oh wait a minute. And it was like. And the thing is, I didn't mean to do that, but it was just like surprising. Yeah, it was a shock. Where I'm like, would serotonin take that as like take offense to that? Yes. Because I'm I'm shocked. Yo, what are you looking at? Like, <laughs> you got something to say, nigga? You know, Wait, so y- y'all locked eyes in? Uh, yeah. Dude, dude didn't say nothing. Nah, he didn't. He didn't. But the thing is, honestly, oh, I, this was probably like six, seven years ago. So I think. At that point, 
Um, it wasn't as relative. I know the no, first I, fact yeah, the is a lie because they weren't tranny seven years ago. No, <laughs> yeah, no. I think back then it was just, um, it was more disrespected that to transsexuals, right? Yeah. So it was as maybe if they were offended, it probably wouldn't say anything just because back then at that time, like they. That was it was that. less tolerant. Yeah, like, it didn't matter. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't. That, it wasn't gonna be that big of a backlash or something. Yeah, like, that just, where that shit, like people were disrespecting transsexuals, like a lot. So, um, bro, they had a whole fucking Maury like like um section where like you guess if it was a man or a female. Oh or... yeah, I remember that. They did. That's um. Yep. That's when I remember that shit. I mean, then, you know, it would be bad because they was like, yeah, that's a man. Look at the. And he was like, oh, this is actually a woman. That's a female, bro. She got too much ass. And like, you can't. The thing is, uh, now, <laughs> nowadays, that shit would. A lot of movies would not have been made. A lot of, like, shows would not have been made just because back then, like, man, a lot of shit used to fly. Not saying it was right. I mean, that's why it's not right to judge, like, the past just because the context of the past it's, is different. Yeah, it's different. Now. It was a different time, so you know, like yeah, Maury, I agree with that, hundred percent. Maury can have fun with shit like that. Nowadays, you man, you get fucking killed. So. Nowadays, people are sensitive as fuck yeah, to when, anything. When Family Guy is taking out the gay jokes, and they've been doing that shit for years. You know, yeah. it's like shit serious. I, I think we got to cancel sensitive. Family Guy. So I, I saw um, who was it? I forgot who said this, but they said we got Jesse Small yet? Not I me. Mean, now nah, we ain't talking about Jesse Smollett. yet. <laughs> but somebody said we got to cancel cancel culture. Culture. Did no, a white guy say that? No, oh, no cancel the, the, the culture. The cancel, pan, the culture cancel, of cancel culture. Yeah. Did a, did a white it, it, guy say that? Nah, shit? black That's man said that. Cancel culture. No, because the thing is, yeah. they say a lot of the times people are ready to cancel people off of one, off of one <laughs> thing, right? If we had yeah. canceled a lot of Relatable. these people back in the day, um, they wouldn't be the people they are now. Like, right. um, let, let's think about like Joe Budden, and. The perception of Joe Budden, shit, five, four years ago, nobody liked Joe Budden, and, ev- and everybody know, I mean, and everybody really uh, knew Joe Budden. But come on, every and, every and everybody thought Joe Budden was a woman beater. Yep. That like, yeah, but niggas, I, I don't, I don't know if niggas was like saying cancel Joe. That's when they weren't saying it back then like, because it wasn't like as this, it wasn't like it was now. Today. Today, this, this yeah. cancel, this cancel culture shit that happens on Twitter though, that's like that's stupid shit. That's just niggas talking. That's like that's that's like niggas just saying, nah, "Hey, get this nigga out." People of here. not people be trying to take that shit serious nah, though. It's like because when, the when, thing when, is, they go say, no because they lose their jobs. Like R. Kelly, they say cancel R. Kelly. Like well, I mean, I feel like the shows, we legit gonna cancel him. Like he's the, gonna cancel uh, this nigga's existence. The yeah. Broly dude, it's <laughs> like Vic no, Mc, uh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta stop, dog. Bro, I got it, bro. It's Mig Migonia. Vic Migonia. The, the fucking Broly dude. That's all yeah. you need to say. <laughs> Broly. Yeah, he's canceled. He's he got canceled. He got fired from Funimation. Yeah, yeah, they canceled him. Hey, they, they, fired, they fired him. They fired him from Funimation because that's the typical standard thing that you do. Um where else, where are you gonna get work at? Bro, hang on. Well, I'm that's just the saying. thing that they're trying to say. That's the cancel culture, right? Yeah. So, like people used to not get fired as much for that shit like that. Okay. I mean, they still did, but now it's to a extent to where like people are just getting fucking fired left and right for fucking it, it, or, at, like, at, at just the accusation whatever. at just accusations. Yeah, but that, I mean that's just like they severed ties because of this bullshit uh, elemental P community and elemental P. I've been seeing Matt say that on Twitter. I'm bruh. surprised he didn't get attacked. Say, yeah. that, say that again. The elemental P community. Oh my god! Yo, that's, yeah, you know, you know, Man. them niggas. They 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 get so fucking. Uh, this nigga say yeah, like he's proud of it. And they get elemental P. Yeah, bro, it's a joke, man. Know, because bro, like, 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 it, it, it's just a joke. Critic. It's just a joke. It's just a joke because they keep adding Yo, fucking letters to the shit. Yo, at the LGBT community is a joke. They, now, bro. they keep they keep <laughs> adding letters. They keep adding letters to the shit. So I just say L-M-L-P all the people community. in the struggle, man. Mm, man, bro, fuck that. Oh, if they add a if they add a, if they add a P, they all cancel though. Bro, they they're trying they're trying to add a fucking P. Nah. There is a P. It's what, 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 I'm pretty sure the official the thing right now is LGBT. the P stands for pedosexual. No, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? 
stands for so, pansexual, not pedo. No, nigga, no, Frub. I'm being dead ass. No, no people are. You no, can Google wait, it right wait. now. That is not nigga, true. Wait, wait. I didn't. I know what you're saying. I didn't. I didn't say <laughs> that it is in that. That that's what that's what the P is. I'm right, saying right, right. They're trying, they're trying to, to add, add that, yeah. the P because <coughs> right. niggas are trying to say that uh, pedophilia attracted. Yeah, that that's a sexuality. Yeah, 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 but that that but apparently, apparently, I don't know what this means, but this is a. This may be like a trivia um, for people as you're watching. It is LGBTQIAPK. Oh, exactly. You oh. see that, bro? You might as well just call oh, that shit what? the fucking hold on, hold on, hold on. element. I thought it's No. Nah, bro. They keep adding shit. I, I, I just so said what that. What does shit stand for? It doesn't matter. I don't know what I is, but A is like asexual and shut the fuck up. A is asexual and I forgot you take this shit serious. No, I'm, 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 I'm trying to figure out, like, what is the... Okay, oh, okay, I got it, got it, got it, got it. Lesbian, oh gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersexual, asexual, pansexual, and polygamous. What the Come fuck? On. Oh, 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 and kinkiness. Bro, no, the the you see yeah. how stupid? Do you see how stupid? Why don't they add an like, S up there for straight? Is, also, is, like, is, just have everything. Up there. What, is, what the fuck is? Why the don't they just like what is make it? a fucking unified word? Like the United States isn't called fucking every single state, but I'm just saying it's like the <laughs> USA. Why don't they just fucking make something that like just goes like call they them? Just no, that's what it. That's no, Ali. The group is called sexual acceptance. Wow. Okay, that's fine. We'll call them for that for now. I mean, if we're going to be honest here, most of these fucking sexual identifications are so fucking stupid <laughs> in the first place. <laughs> that's, uh, I mean, <laughs> hey, that's what I've been saying. That's why that shit's well, the a lot of people that way, buddy. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're saying okay, it's listen, <laughs> there's, there's, something called, there's something called pansexual, which is pretty much just means you'll fuck anything, no matter what the fuck it is. Okay. I that, mean, how is that, that different? That sounds than like bisexual? a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, because a bisexual because, because, not uh, fuck a pan- tranny. Because like, pansexual, doesn't that include like animals and shit? Optics? No, no. Whoa. Nah, that's like. Are you sure? That's ad- no. no. No, pansexual literally just means I will fuck anything as long as a human. You said no, no, not limited in sexual choice. Bro, that's so that's like fucking animal stupid, shit. Pretty much bro. like. Pretty much, um, I guess yeah, like Fruit said, like you'd the, have sex with a transsexual, a man, yeah. a woman. And, I guess that's the only you difference is that they fuck trannies. No, you just... <laughs> but, uh, Corey, you gotta chill. Corey, bro. relax. Yo. <laughs> relax, yo. <laughs> you, y'all, y'all remember that, uh, that, that, that uh, ninja okay, stream? No, no, okay, no, remember no, the ninja that, stream that, we talked about? Niggas are gonna crucify... Bro, niggas are gonna be on our ass for this shit. Bro, Not, no, okay, shit. okay, put it like this, bro. Okay, look, look. They're pansexual, so it ain't matter. Remember oh, when we said we were trying to get sponsored? Relax, it's a joke. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh man. We're never gonna get okay, sponsored. We're like never men, ever. If you like men, bro, a part of you is gay. No, I don't think so, Corey. Bro, if you if you like heavy, a part of you is gay. gay. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> alright, go ahead, get, get it out, get it out, go ahead, go ahead. What does that even mean? Bro, if I'm saying if you like if you like having sex with males, like you're gay. Yeah, okay. Yo, Froom is killing me. Froom said, yeah, okay. <laughs> why are we, Why is that like, like all right, I want to have a sex. Like, where no, where are we at right now? What I'm saying is all these, it's all these different like terms and it's just like, bro, like it's just like you fucking okay. the same sex. Okay, 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 I, got, I know what Corey's trying to do. Corey's like, fuck the fact that. I mean, I don't know. Are you well, like, Corey, there, Corey, there are multiple sexes. There's a spectrum. Oh, no, no. Okay, what Corey's trying to do is like, you know how there's like, you know how there's like Pakistan there's uh, uh, Iraq, Iran. They're all part of the Middle East, but they're all like considered the Middle East. Corey's basically trying to say, y'all all are Eastern. gay. Yeah. No, that's wild. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think with sexuality, it is, I think it's broadening, right? Where people are starting to explore a lot more and realize, okay, um, I'm straight, right? Quote, unquote, like I'm quote, unquote, straight, that right? But if I bust down a watermelon, then like, what am I then? Like, what's that? A watermelon sexual. If I just want to smash, Pans- you're, no, then, then, then you're pansexual. All right, I got a question. Watermelon. I mean, you can't just say that anyone that, that fucking likes fucking dudes is gay. I mean, look, look at fucking manga critic. He's bisexual and he has a fucking like fiance Why? or whatever. I mean, yeah, oh, he has a fiance. Bro. Like, wouldn't you Come say? What you trying to say? Go ahead, talk that shit. No, 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 okay, no, 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 okay, no, put it like that. Y'all gotta relax, bro. I'm not disrespecting him at all. Brago about to get another DM. Yeah, man. No, no, no. Yo, stop, We don't need a stream, Brago. We don't need a stream, dog. 
I'm, I'm not disrespecting him at all, and maybe I just need more clarity. Yeah, so let's not understand. use him as an example. Yeah, don't use him as an example. Yeah, okay, at all, at all. okay. Yeah, let's say, if him. it's somebody who's bisexual, right? Yeah. Is a part of them not gay if they like men? Like, that's, I mean, no, yes, but that's what the fuck bisexual means. It means you're gay and you're bisexual, straight. Like, yes. the fuck? Bisexual, bisexual but, 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 is like but, an evolved definition of gay. Is what? But, but Fubi, 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 I think, I think, like what, I think like, what Corey is saying, saying, like, it's like saying, like, bro, if if if, if Fubi only doesn't like black people, like, you're not like, oh, I'm not racist. I just don't like black people. Like, no, nigga, well, he's not racist. racist. He, no, no, he's not. He just doesn't like black people. If you like all <laughs> the other racists, no, that nigga's racist. he doesn't like black. No, he's not. He's not racist. He doesn't I mean, it is racist because he, he hates racist. Racist. No, 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 Would it be racist, racist against black people? Racist? No, no, no. Racist is you think your race is better than every other race. So if he just don't like black people, but he like every other race. He's not really racist. He just don't like black people. Bro, I think, it works I mean, like I think you're getting into some literally what we bro. call racist in the black society. But uh, well, the thing is, race racism could go to like discrimination and prejudice against like other races, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying, if Rube is Uncle Ruckus, but it's only towards <laughs> black people, that's that nigga's nigga, racist. Nigga. Yeah. Then like, that, oh, that nigga's racist. Nigga rac he's racist. We're not gonna be like, oh, well, he's only know. racist. No, no, but the thing is, with I, I feel like person. I feel like the thing is in in the black community a lot. I think how we felt. We felt that if a man had sex with another man, it doesn't matter if you say you buy, we gonna look at you as gay. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's yeah, how. Yeah. That's how. I mean, like technically, you're right. Like if someone's bi, they're gay, but they're also straight. So it's like that's yeah, why there's I, a word I, for it. I just think that no, today no, it's just too hard to box people in that way, and I feel like it's Nigga, dangerous to do that. I feel like just people just don't want to be boxed in. That's why all these terms are gonna. Like, I mean, yeah, in. but is, if you is, like, is that really is that a problem though? It's not, I think bro, I, it, I, I, I simply I simply think that it's just niggas trying to be a part of be a part of a cause like so that they can be a part. It's a of hashtag. Something. That's what. Yeah, it's a hashtag. It's, That's what I feel like it is. Honestly, I feel like it's not, like bro. It's like bro. If you like men stupid. and women, like that's cool. But, I, like I would just say like okay, you. Kind of gay. Okay, but when you cool. when you do things like yes, that, but you're like, also you're okay. But it's just a specific word. Like obviously, you're gonna have words for different th things. Like what the fuck? Like okay, no. But look, this is the thing, bro. Like so, all of these people they've uh, they they've been alienated to to a certain uh, to a certain sense, and they've been uh, discriminated against to a certain to a certain extent. So they all have like. They they all relate to each other in a sense. Yes, and they all find comfort in their uh you know in their exile. What whatever you you know whatever the fuck word you want to use. So I like like I really just think that it's people you know wanting to be a part of something because all of these different fucking classifications of pansexual. Why the fuck do you need that shit in there? If you're a pansexual and you'll fuck anything, that's the same thing as bisexual. It's stupid. Uh, uh, I don't think it's stupid. I think it's just bro, like evolving. Bro, bro, if you like, say, if if you're a pansexual, right? Yeah. That means you'll fuck a woman or you'll fuck a man. A trans person, a trans. Uh, listen, a trans, a trans person is still a fucking look. If you're if you're a trans <laughs> woman, right? Uh, if you're a trans woman, nah. If you're a trans woman, you cannot fucking have a kid. So you're a man. Whoa. You just identify as a look. You can get a you can get an adoption, but you cannot carry a fucking child inside of your fucking. You don't have a vagina. Here's the thing, you don't man. Have a I've, oh, okay. Here's the thing, man. I've seen so many of these arguments, clear. right? Because it's like people say, okay, so what about women that don't that can't have kids? Does that mean they're not a woman? What about people that's had the surgery where they have a vagina no, now? Does if that you mean have an X and a Y no, chromosome, no. nigga, you a man. That bro, it's very, it's very simple. Um, if you have a, X and y if, chromosome. like, like, there's some pe there's some women that can't have kids after, mm -hmm. like, like after uh, complications arise in their pregnancy, they're still able to produce an egg. A trans woman cannot produce a fucking egg. If if she goes to the doctor, she is not exempt from testicular cancer. What did she cut the te testes off? Get the fuck out of here. Bro. Okay, hey, hey, so what okay, my so what's the difference between homosexual and queer? Right. It's no exactly. It's no so what's so the, exactly so but that's not a that's not a that, in there. Huh? Well, yeah, so both of those letters in there. Um I think this is a not better way to say it. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So I like what's wrong with me saying the better way for me to just remember all this shit is just say the niggas gay. What do you call it? What is the difference me calling you black and nigga? 
Oh. Well, there's a big difference. There's a big oh. difference. Whoa, Brago, you got to stop, Brago. You don't do that shit, bro. Because, because, difference. hey, look, Brago, because of shit like that, like niggas like I don't <laughs> think that it's okay for him to say nigga and, what? and say nigga oh, and shit. shit like that and nigga. <laughs> Nigga, and nigga. Yeah, N- niggas right, like right. Ali think that it's okay. No, bro, there is there is a big difference between like, being when a I'm, nigga when I'm saying and gay, being black. Ali like, yo, why am I being dragged to this? When I say gay, I'm not saying it like, oh my gosh, like you're gay. It's just like, it's not like, when I say it, it's just like what you are. It's not it's not a, a slur to me. Like, you know what I mean? All like, right. It's not like me using nigga. It's like, like, oh, he likes men. He's gay. Because people are so goddamn sensitive. It's bro, just like get, saying like, oh, he doesn't shit. like. It's the same. It's like a synonym for homosexual. It's just like okay, he's homosexual or he's Yeah, gay. but like if we're gonna use like the fucking like the state shit like Ali used, it would literally be like if I was like, oh, Corey, where are you from? And you said like fucking I don't know, like fucking Nigeria or something. And I'm like, oh, so you're black? It's like no, nigga, I'm from Nigeria. Like so fucking Nigerian. Like, yeah, exactly. But it, you don't you think it would be disrespectful if I was like, nah, you're not Nigerian. You're just black. Yeah, and so they just want—they don't want to be clumped in, Corey. Like, but like, I feel like that's—that's that's like a whole. That's like a descent in a. It's a sexual preference. Obviously, it's not going to be the same thing, but at the same time, it's just like. I mean, I could I can understand where you're going with that. I just, like when people like people call me Chinese or not Chinese, they call me Asian, but I would prefer if people you know called me like Afghanistan. Like I'm from Afghanistan. Don't like don't just clump us all in Asia just because it's you know we're from there. You get me? Yeah. Yeah, it's like um, that. So I can understand. I, mean, I, I get that. Understand why you are Asian, though, if you're from like Asia. Yeah, but to be more specific, I'm from Afghanistan, so that, that's I might. Yeah, I mean, it's all about it's like courtesy and shit. No, like, but the like, thing is, I know. But like, it could be, Asian is more politically cor- like because you don't want to be like, no, oh, Corey. he's Vietnamese or he's Chinese or whatever. Like you just be like, okay, I don't know. You who know, he some is, people so like some Asian. people. Like some people that are like Korean, they take offense to people calling them Japanese, Japanese Chinese, yeah. right? Uh, so Taiwanese. that's why you call them Asian. I mean, I they right. Don't that's just, that's be just, Asian, no. Dog. I mean, the <laughs> thing is, I, I feel, I feel like you can't get mad at somebody calling you Asian because yeah, I was like, the thing, because the thing is, it's like is. if I'm calling you Asian, that's me being no, respectful. If I tell you, yeah, if I, I like, tell you, respectful. oh, oh, that's what I'm saying. After you tell me, then I'm gonna call you what you want to be called, right? But yeah, before exactly. that, it's like I'm calling, like it's like calling somebody Caribbean, right? Oh, you, Caribbean? yeah, I know, but no, Bravo, you're right, right? But at the same time, to like take it back to the example, what mm-hmm. Corey's saying is like would be like literally if i was like i mean oh you're korean but i mean you're all just fucking asian at the end of the day like what the fuck's the difference oh okay. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay yeah, yeah i can see that yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah you I make it you want to be classified as like what they are yeah exactly. like no i'm not gonna disrespect nobody and be like like yeah. if somebody was like i prefer to be called bisexual i'm like no nigga you gay <laughs> like, yeah i'm not gonna yeah. do that but, but see, that's, 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 that's how, how culture, culture used to be though like if you were bisexual you were gay i mean but i'm saying like what's crazy a lot of women still feel that way where if I ask a lot of women about, okay, what if you found out that your boyfriend or husband or whatever dabbled in the past with a man? Like, oh, that nigga gay for life. And they'd be like, oh, then he's gay. And then it, it made me uncomfortable. It's like, wow, that's like how women feel about it. So, you know, that's just how the culture used to be with that. And, you know, um, it's not accepted today, obviously. You can't do that shit. Like, you can't just classify somebody as gay because they are, even, even if they say that they're bisexual. Like, that's disrespectful. So, I, but so it's true, but it's disrespectful. No, it's no, it's, it's not, not true. true. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, we just had an entire conversation. <laughs> Yo, speaking of the uh, LGBTQIAPQK, Jesse, the gay two. No, 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 no. Speaking of the LGBT community, um, we gotta talk about the gay Tupac, man. We gotta really delve into <laughs> the gay Tupac and the. Uh, but Tupac his was message. gay. Yeah. So, oh, come, come on, on Corey. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> um, Shut up. We got to talk about it. So to give some context and some backstory to the situation, if you don't know, Jesse Smollett, star of Empire, show on Fox. <laughs> Jesse Smollett, what, two weeks, three weeks ago, or something like that, said that he was attacked by two white men um, in Chicago in negative 23 degree weather. Um, he said he got bleach poured on him. He said he got hit. He said they screwed out MAGA country. They were wearing um, MAGA hats. Um, he said, uh, what else happened to him? They called him the F word. They called him a faggot, they called, they called, him called him a nigger, put a noose around his neck, right? I mean, yeah, just go so ahead and say it. Goddamn, bro. So I'll say that when I heard this, 
right? When, when I, I first heard about it, I saw it on Instagram. It was like, Just Small that attacked. I was like, yo, that's insane that that shit like that is still, still happening. happening. It seems like it's, it's like out of yeah. a movie, right? I was like, Whoa. And then for me, for a second, I felt like, damn. Maybe, maybe some of the shit that I feel and how I used to go at we some people. Like, yet. Right. I was like, damn, maybe I'm missing something, right? Maybe there really are, like, a lot of shit happening. And for them to go after Jesse Smollett, wow, yo. So then it kind of sounded insane. Like, why would people do that? As time has progressed, the story has shifted, right? Um, now, uh, the... It, it went, went from, from the MAGA, MAGA country stuff to saying, oh, we, they weren't wearing MAGA hats, right? Went from, from saying, saying they had, um, they, well, Just Small that recently did an interview and he said that they did scream out MAGA country, <laughs> right? But police have been investigating this thing. And apparently, the people that attacked Jesse Smollett aren't even white. <laughs> they're two oh, fucking please, big please. ass Nigerians. Yeah. Yeah, and they're his friends. And they're his friends and they were they were extras on Empire. Yeah. And they he got they got paid, right? And well, the story is the, the cops are saying that these guys got paid to stage this uh this whole yeah, thing. So, with Jesse. Uh from what we know right now, though. I was reading a few articles on it just to like make the details clear from what we know right now the police think that pretty much apparently uh jesse got sent like a fucking like a letter and it was like it was kind of a fucked up letter i'm not gonna be honest but like it was like a it was like a letter of like saying like yo i'm gonna kill you you f word and then yeah. blah 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 and it was like uh it was like a dude hanging from a tree with a gun to him and but now it's true. the n word what, what i'm what, what, what i hear about, about that letter you, you know, know what i think, think now that that was fake too maybe yeah, mail it to a damn self yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, all oh, wow. all of the shit look, bro, all of the shit just sounds like out, like straight out of, out of Empire. It it <laughs> this, this shit this shit sounds so like telegraphed, it's not even funny. I think uh, what what I think is that the nigga probably got his ass beat or something, and I don't. I don't think that. No I mean, dog. no, not even at all. Somebody Matt, said Matt. That he was gonna get no, fucking no, fired. No, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. No, let me finish. Let me finish. Oh my god. I think that the nigga <laughs> probably got his ass beat. Like he, you know, he was in some other situation, and then this he had to come was up like, with a reason. yeah, he had to come up with a reason. He had like, like he came up with something. That's so nah, think, it's way know, more really... nefarious than that. He actually he just staged the whole thing for attention. It wasn't even anything allegedly. like that. Like, well, yeah, allegedly, allegedly, I'll say that. I mean, we don't know 100% yet, but it's like 95%. So, so Matt, like, the details of it has changed so dramatically. The people that apparently did it, they're not even white. And he said that... Yeah, they're black. They asked him, because he went on Good Morning America with Robin Roberts, right? Yeah, and he, like, did, he even spoke about he it. Like, in front of a crowd. So they asked him, they said, what happened when you were attacked? He said, the dude punched me, right? Right? He said, the dude punched me. He said, so I punched his ass back. Yeah, I was like, this nigga lying. And then, yeah, bro, that nigga's lying. Dog, <laughs> did, dog, did you see? Did, dog, did you see his injuries? Uh, yeah, what I seen injuries? the picture. That's why he I'm had saying, a paper like, cut on his face. If, if that, bro, if you look at the pictures, like, bro, that, dog, dog, if, if them niggas are the niggas, niggas that attack you, unless you're fucking super gay, gay man, man, you're a fucking, you'll get super hurt. Super gay I mean, the man, thing yo, is, what bro, the relax, bro. What I'm saying is, these are two fucking. Big ass Nigerians that attacked you, and you got out of it with a scratch. And the thing is, they found they found the bottle of bleach. They found the bottle of bleach the next day. Well, not even the cops. A reporter found the bottle of bleach the next day in a hot sauce bottle. So they said that this, these people were dabbing hot sauce bleach on you in negative twenty three degree weather. They were dabbing it on you in a hot sauce bottle. Yeah, that's what you call super. Uh... Didn't you say super gay man? What'd you say? But the thing is, bro, hey, don't do that. <laughs> unless you're super gay man, there's no way you're be defeating two Nigerians with a scratch. Got some hands. What's wrong with that? Bro, bro he's bro, come on, dog. There's you no said he way. Punched ass back. He said, I punched his ass back. And <laughs> <laughs> that's literally what he said. <laughs> At the beginning of this video, this yeah, is bro, he was wild. Oh my god, dude. It's so cringe when you just think about how he was bragging about, like, yeah, I beat the ass. So, and like, like, oh my no, god. No, 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 no. I, I watched the Robin Roberts interview, interview, right? And she said, why, why do you think these people would attack you? These Trump supporters. He said, I don't know. He, no, 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 no. He said, 
I, I go, go really, really hard in 45. What? <laughs> That's what he said. What? That's what he said. I go really hard on 45. What is meaning? 45 is, is like that's what people call Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. Yes. Yeah. So, so he, he said, said because, because I speak out vocally and going hard against them, he sent pretty, pretty much the Trump, Trump supporters are coming after him. Because what I would say is, um, go hard there could on be a chance. Watch the interview. People, please watch this interview. <laughs> it's, it's so cringe. It's so many, bro. I was, I was watching, watching interview like this nigga can't, can't be serious. And the worst part about it is, is that the fucking like. The only reason that people believe this fucking because like the whole story was kind of fishy in the first place, but the main reason people yeah. believed it in the first place was because like, like what like the media kind of like fed of like these like MAGA they, supporters, like right. oh yeah, of course, and of right. course so, now if you're a Trump supporter in any way, people are looking to victim or like fucking blame you for everything, right? right. So yeah. using MAGA country and saying that MAGA has people like oh they definitely did oh, yeah, that they shit, did. Yeah, exactly. they definitely like, did that uh, shit, and then he was black and then he was gay, right? right. So they're like oh man that's who they hate the most, right? Of course. So then what what made it fishy to me? was how extravagant the story was. But secondly, right. the next week, or, yeah, he went and performed, right? And he went on stage and said, I'm the gay Tupac. Yeah, and, then, and then, look, 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 whenever, whenever people were posting about the story, they were promoting his album Everything. as they're posting it. Yeah, bro. Right. It just, it's just, it was just like, that nigga, that, nigga his album? Moving, that nigga was just moving very funny. I also uh, heard that he was about to get written off the show. That's yeah. what I was hearing as well. Kind yeah, of, that's uh, why That's why people are saying that he, or like, that's one of the theories why he did it was because he's trying to get attention. Uh, you, you know, know what? I'm going to revisit what we said about it last time. We just heard about, like, you know, him not giving up his phone, right? Remember we talked about it last week or the week before that? Yeah, yeah, Where it was like, oh, he doesn't want to give up his phone. And I was like, well... Maybe, maybe that's what he's protecting, protecting his friends, friends, right? Maybe, maybe that's, that's what he's doing. doing. But they said that he gave the cap, the cops, such an edited and alternate version of like his phone records. They're like, we can't use this. Exactly. And <laughs> what did I? What did I say? I said, bro, if you don't want to give the niggas your phone, go print off your fucking phone records from uh, from whatever service yeah. you have. Go to a local, you know, go to a local yeah. store. Boom. It's so easy. Your shit updates on a daily basis. Apparently, you're supposed to pre- uh, give them the, 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 the records, records that day in a couple hours. It took a couple days. To get exactly. The records, uh, because the nigga had the... Bro, he, he had them. the they six. Say, they say apparently he spoke to the Nigerians before the attack. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, they have so they have so much proof on it that it's like ninety percent. Like they they know that uh, the dudes, the Nigerians, whatever the fuck you want to call them, that they bought the rope at like the hardware yes. store. And, like, oh, it's have, over then. Yeah. So then, yeah. And then they also said if it's found out that he made a false police report, they plan to pursue like legal legal action. Legal yeah, that action. nigga needs to, and, like that nigga needs some jail time. He needs. I don't, I don't know if jail, jail time is necessary. Bro, bro that that shit like, it's not jail, jail time. I think. I think what he did. I think. I think if, if it comes, comes out, out, that's public embarrassment. Yeah, yeah. Enough I think already. I think the publicity you know of it is like they're they're doing for this justice for me. You know what happened? You know what happened? This is the. No, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. no, I was I was gonna like take it into another route. So if you want to like, no, I was saying Jesse. I think he wanted sympathy, right? And wanted, wanted to make some noise. He didn't want this. He did not want this attention. What did that nigga expect? He wanted some like. Uh, I'm the I'm the story. I'm the person that I survived. He planned this. it well enough. He, didn't he was trying to be the he, gay he thought, Tupac. Yeah. He's on a TV show, so he probably thought like, oh, I know how scenarios. This and this is this is like me being serious. He probably thought like this would be a good kind of way to no. spin this. He didn't. He didn't. I he feel like he underestimated. Ball, ball, he he underestimated the, the same way we do on this podcast. Right, like, that's that's made made the cops. Yeah, yeah. We can't think police solve anything. He did the same shit. My thing was like for him watching the interview. Just give watching the interview. It gives me some context into like how he thinks, right? Mm-hmm. Because even him saying they asked him like, "Why would you go out at two thirty to get like by yourself to get a sandwich?" He's like, "That's what you do. You go to Subway when you try and get something to eat. I mean, that's what people do." And I was just like, <laughs> "Was it a comment or was it in the video where someone's like, nah, you gonna suck dick at two a.m. or some shit like that?'" Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> If it comes out that, that he was indeed set up by these Nigerian men and he knew nothing about it and all this was true, I'll apologize. 
right? Well, I mean, but the thing is, is like but it can't. It, there's like almost like a so much chance that that happened because he himself said that they were two white people. He and said like, that, so right. it's yeah. So maybe it's he's like, trying, trying to protect, protect his, friends his friends because, because they, were they were having sex, sex with, with each, each other. other. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is like if I say like, oh fucking, I was attacked by like Brago, you're wild. What? <laughs> what? Bro, if I say I'm like I was attacked by two black people, like how the fuck do you not know like what their skin color? You know, and he's like might be colorblind. But the thing is. You, you when, when he, he said, said he fought off two Trump, Trump supporters, supporters, I was like, mm, all right, that's you know they, they just came to send a message. But when you see these niggas, first of all, if they're working as extras on your show, money is something they would need, right? They didn't rob him. They didn't rob him. Niggas, why would niggas attack Jesse Smollett? <laughs> <laughs> like nobody know nobody knows this nigga, bro. Unless yeah. you, if he oh, you don't be really fucking with Empire, him, bro. Unless that's unless what I'm saying. A lot of Empire. Trump supporters are watching Empire, Empire. and that's a, yes, that's another exactly. thing. It's like no, he got attacked no Trump by supporters. Fucking... Go ahead, Rube. No, I was just gonna say, like, really quick, like, it's so funny that like this whole thing was in the thing in the first place because like he got attacked by some white dudes in Chicago at two thirty in the morning yeah. saying MAGA bro. country. And, and they, they said, said like, like, bro, that that's the most wild shit, bro. For one, I I believe that we touched on this at like the last time we talked about this, bro. That was one of the coldest yeah. like nights that th- 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 you know in Chicago <laughs> in, in recorded night. history, bro. Like, bro, nigga, what? Why was you you talk like like why was you even outside in this but, fucking night? Apparently, apparently statistically, statistically, thirty degrees. Statistically, they say apparently Trump supporters get attacked more in Chicago. Probably. Oh, I wouldn't I doubt see it. it. Like, so, what? Like, <laughs> so it's like <laughs> every, that's, that's why the, on, yeah. that's, that's why, why the cops was saying, saying, "All right, man." So no, you tell, oh, bro, if I, bro, if I walk bro. down. If I walk down a fucking street in Chicago with a MAGA hat on, you better yeah, believe you're gonna attack. Fucking ass. Gonna attack. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, no but, way. Another part of this is that he kept the rope on the yes. entire time, and, and he kept the noose on. Yeah. So this said when the cops got there, he said he didn't want to create a scene, so he told the cops to come in and take off, turn off their body cameras. What? Why? 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 Why did they turn off? Okay. Their yeah. Body well, like this is this is the worst part about the whole thing because like now we've talked about it enough i want to get to the worst part about this whole situation right so i saw this tweet on my timeline i'm just going to read it out it says despite the in- inconsistencies i can't blindly believe chicago pd the department that covered up the shooting of oh, laquan yeah, mcdonald yeah, yeah. over mm-hmm. a dozen times that operated an, uh an off-site torture facility that one i'll wait whatever the outcome this won't stop me from believing others it can't okay so like that's i mean I, yeah, yeah, yeah i we don't have to get into like everything that was said there, but like the the crux of like the problem that I have with this whole situation is that the people that like are in the whole camp of like believe survivors, believe fucking like marginalized, no believe women, what. believe yeah, yeah, like they should be fucking roasting the fuck out of this dude right now, right? Because you're Bro. pretty much you're ruining the shit for yeah, everyone else, right? Because when every single time uh, like someone lies about like uh, some type of like traumatic experience, well, you kind of you. Wolf. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. you kind of you kind of ruin it for everyone else, right? Because now it's like, oh, okay. Next time someone gets attacked, it's like, oh, is this another Jesse Smollett or exactly. whatever? You know, like exactly. So like, so like, these people should be fucking pissed that he like even made this up in the first place. But like, these people are just fucking defending him, bro, and I it's saw... pretty much literally just because he's fucking gay that like. I, bro, doing this. I hold so girl Cardi wrote to him. Cardi, oh, I, I didn't see that. that. What, what I'm saying is, yo, he should have just what he really should have did, bro, is he should have. He should have hired like two Nick, like two people to really just beat that nigga up for real, for real. No, no but, but the thing, thing is, is, if you guys know, Corey, the problem is if you do that, that right? At, at the end, end of the day, there's so many cameras. Like, like I was saying, they tr- they're gonna track where you come from, and, and they're gonna track like all the shit you did. Oh, the, bro, that entire day they can track you with all the cameras. That's what I say. You just there, hired right? two Nick. Like, you well, just I mean, no, the thing. Nobody, like, nobody Wiley said, I don't think this dude though. like expected that no. there was gonna be fucking like so much. Like, exactly. So, so Corey, so Corey, if you're these dudes, right, that you that you got hired to do this, was part of the deal that we may get arrested and charged for battery and assault? Hell no. I know that wasn't part of the deal. That's, That's not part of it, bro. That's not part of it. But they didn't get charged. They got released. They got released. Oh, yeah, they, they, they no, cooperated, though. Cool. But the thing is, if they oh, had they gone along with the story, story Matt, they're, they're getting charged. Well, yeah, exactly. Oh, like, if yeah. they... Yeah. yeah no, like no, no, they, no, no, they no, had no. To... They might not get charged for the simple... Like, they might not get charged because he filed that false police report. But they can file, with the, they can file against you even if, even if the person doesn't file, right? Yeah, like... They uh, can do that. The, the, the state can do it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying the two the two Nigerian guys probably won't get prosecuted 
especially if they worked with the cops to let them know like it was a fake. No, 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 no. yeah, no, no. That's we're, what we're saying, saying in this oh, scenario okay. that like if they, they didn't, they didn't cooperate. cooperate. Yeah, right? if they didn't oh, cooperate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they went along with the lie, lie. Yeah. Yeah. right? Because it's called uh, it's called hindering an investigation. Right, right. Like but even then, they got on they got them on assault apparently. Right, because they assaulted just. Oh, oh yeah, that's the thing. Because like, oh, yeah. okay, yeah. if they if because like they caught the guys right and they br brought mm -hmm. them into questioning. Yep. If they didn't say uh like oh like he paid us to do it, mm -hmm. pretty much what they what the cops know is that like they did all this shit to him. Like they yeah. fucking put the bleach on him and they hung him and they pretty much tried to kill him. Yep. And that's so a you're hate pretty crime. much that's a hate crime. crime. Yeah, you're pretty yeah, much facing hate, hate crime. Yeah, which is so you pretty much have to come clean or else you're fucked. They're like hell. So the cops probably said him now was like all right. You know listen, you're fucked up, right? Listen, you either <laughs> tell, tell us what happened or you get charged with hate crime, assault. You're looking at that fucking, <laughs> what, 20 years? <laughs> In a Chicago jail? <laughs> Yo, they're like, listen, they're like, listen, listen, let me listen. show you my text they're like, listen, listen, listen. Called me. I give my bank account number, I give my text messages, I take my, my apartment number. <laughs> listen, listen, man, just search my house. Search my, my house, it's all there. I do this shit. This man pays $3,500 each. So, so I think for something like that, Jesse, I don't know why he did it. Like honestly, doing some shit like this, I know exactly why. That's he did. like staging the album dropping. That's like staging like oh, like my channel got hacked or some shit, and just for some. It, and this this sounds so fucked up, but I'm so glad that this happened just for one case because when when like shit like okay like. Just let's go back to like the most recent thing, something like this that happened. The Broly guy, right? Mm -hmm. So like when people say like, oh, why would these why would these girls lie? Like, what do they have to gain? Like, it's actually harder to come out than it is to like stay silent. Like they're actually putting themselves in more danger by coming out than they would if they would have just shut up. It's like, yeah, listen, you don't need a fucking excuse to lie about this shit. Like, the, like we don't need the motives of these people to like question whether or not like like the sincerity of their claims like i don't know like the thing is, is like there could be a million different reasons like we'll we'll probably unless he comes clean and he straight up says like oh this is why i did it i'm sorry we'll never really know why the fuck he lied so what if, like, the thing is he's making it worse because he, he hired an attorney and his attorney released a statement saying jesse's not lying this is all you know uh, uh ruse they're trying to get go against them and it was just like bro are you serious you, you had an attorney and you're still denying this? It's his yeah, own I mean, story and his own account that seems oh fishy when you hear from his own mouth. That's why it's like, it's just like, it's, it's, it's like when you hear the story from him telling it, it just seemed like, yeah, bro, yeah. come on. I go yeah, I mean, the thing is, is like, people were suspicious <laughs> without the Chicago back one of these PD. big ass Nigerian yeah, niggas. They said they punched me, so I punched punch his ass back. I understand him being like a symbol and be like, you know, they tried to oppress me. I fought back, but it's like, bro, it's not even a real story, my guy. Like, you just made this. They said, they said he was worse than Soldier Boy, and, and I punched his ass back. And I punched his ass back. I fought back. I'm the gay Tupac. I'm the gay Tupac. Nigga, shut your ass up. <laughs> oh, Fuck out of here, dog. That's what he when he <laughs> said. That it was just like. But I Tupac was already gay. Listen, man. Corey, no. stop saying that. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. What are you doing? Bro? Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, I think, bro, I think, like... I think for the LGBTQ community, <laughs> I think this is so damaging, right? Element OP. Because, bro, <laughs> just for like, he's a high profile. He was part of like different movements and all these things for like rights for the gay community and all this stuff. And it's like for him to come out and do this, right? It's just such a stain, and it's honestly for some of the creeps out here, some of these like despicable people that actually do hate crime. They're like, all right, that that gives us some fucking cover now. I mean, that's the thing. Like, it sounds so fucked up for me to say this, but I feel like a lot of people agree with me when I say this. Whenever I see accusations against anyone, like in our culture nowadays, it seems like people literally just like they'll accuse pretty much anyone of anything, knowing that like the public will be on their yep, side. Yep, they and it's the, like, and so the public like, can't wait, wait too. The public yeah, can't then, wait to jump on that person. Yeah, especially like the Chris Brown thing. Like, oh, yeah, and, Chris Brown was out of here. Eve came out. It was like, yo, Chris Brown, you know, like, at what point you gonna grow up? And it was like, wait. But did she apologize, though, when it wasn't true? She, she apologized. So she, she she said all this on, like, The Real or Good Morning America, something like that, right? But then she apologized on her Instagram. Like, nah, bitch, but, like, that's what I'm nah, saying. Nah, like, nah, there's yeah, so many... Need to go back on Good Morning That's America. what I'm saying. Everybody, I need to know I was on here to talk she about Chris that. Brown last time. I was nah, nah, she didn't yeah, do like that. that. That's she did, she did, that she did a quick, she did a quick Instagram video, like, you know what? That's my bad. It was like, bro, like you just went that's on national just, TV why do we, and killed this bro, man. 
the the dude this is this just happened a few months ago when the dude took like uh he dressed up like Travis Scott and took that fake picture and everybody was roasting Travis oh, Scott. Oh yeah, because they thought and, he was and it wasn't even Travis Scott. It was a whole dude trolling. Well, people were mad at the dude. dude the niggas were saying like, that, "Oh, Travis hired." Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't hire him. The dude, the dude, he he, he had a social experiment. He showed him. Yeah. yeah, he showed him doing the whole thing. Social and it's like, experiment. That's yeah, the it. experiment. Well, he was just proving the experiment was to stop people from like rallying so much behind these things. You don't even know the truth, and you ready to jump out the window and go so hard yeah. and you don't even know yeah, he what did the this real before, story apparently with something else I, I don't know yeah, he did it with something, something else so. but, but travis people, scott got people, mad at him do that too much travis, travis and like a lot of people were mad at him he was like yo you almost <laughs> fucked up this man's life it was yeah, like yeah, well, that's true. And it was just like wait no the public almost fucked up your life where it's like they saw yeah. a picture and they saw tmz on it and they ran with it that's the main no, problem like but they 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 I mean, but he created that though. No, but, but I mean, the thing it, it was going, it was proving a point of how. I, fucked I mean, up no, I, I mean, I understand it. why Travis Scott would be mad, but at the same uh, time, it's not like he. I could only understand Travis Scott being mad, but everybody else, like, don't be mad. You shouldn't fall for something like mad. that. It's like, as long as I really, really can't hate the play, you gotta hate the game. Honestly, because no, it's like, like that's just what it is today. Like, if you can fabricate a story enough for it to look somewhat real. The public is going to run with it. I'm not talking and about people will be like, yo, I knew this thing was fucked up. I knew he ain't like Kylie like that. Yep, people were saying that. People were like, yo, I knew it's like nothing good is going to come with you because you fuck with a white girl. girl. That's what niggas say was shit. saying, bro. That that's niggas. I wasn't talking about from that, that perspective. I'm saying like, like you don't think you can get mad at saying like, oh, I'm not mad. I know no, no, Travis. No, I understand Travis being mad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like, as a public, like as the public, that you like, bro, y'all almost fucked up this nigga life. Bro, no, because look, so but bro, they had no, bro, all they had was like a small, fucking, they, had, they, they didn't even have a face, they had a fucking nigga like the back of him and a girl yeah, that looked like that. That's, that's, that, was, no, that's that wasn't that. Are, are you saying that you think it's okay for Travis to be mad at him? No, no, I, I can understand, understand why you'd be mad. No, yeah. that's not. I, I agree with that. I'm not, yeah, I can understand why you. Mad. I don't think you should be mad at him, but yeah, I think it's like I can understand why he. Why I'm he trying to hear. I, I want to hear Corey's point because I'm trying to see what he's trying to. Yeah, oh, no, what it, are you it, saying, bro? No, I was saying like <laughs> I had mis. I misconstrued which I said. That's why I said it don't matter. It's cool. Yeah, what the fuck you saying? Corey? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Bro. Yeah, more. <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, you were struggling over there. Yeah, I know. Like, yo, like, what is he? I, I know, know what's going on, Gordon. No, that's cool. Yeah. But no, I, don't I agree. Know what's going on anymore. At, At the end, end of the day, day, I hope Jesse Smollett, I hope he comes out. I'll just get in front of it and say, yo. He's already out. He's already out. <laughs> oh, <God>. Get <laughs> out and say that you were lying, right? Instead of okay. hiring the lawyer and trying to go through all this shit, it's, it's making it worse, bro. It's just, you're digging a deeper hole. You know that nigga point. not going to tell the truth. <laughs> All I mean, I'm going to say is, like, fucking, at, if it if it ever comes out, like, we have 100% definitive proof that this happens, like, these motherfuckers defending him better fucking come out and apologize. No, they, 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 they need to, no, they need to, they need to apologize. They roast him. They, they, no, they, you know they, what they're going to do? You know what they're going to do? They're going to They going to go at him. They're going to be like, damn, bro, you fucked. They're not going to apologize. They're going to be like, yo. No. They're going to be like, he fucked up. I don't even I, I don't even think that they would go at him, bro. They would be they, like like bro, they would apologize for this nigga. They would make up excuses. Well, as you don't know why now. he did this. You don't it's know how pretty, hard it is yeah. being this know, kind of star and being exactly. under this kind of pressure, he, being where he had to get no, 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 outreach. No. So, so what, what, if, what, if, what, what if Jesse comes out and says Jesse comes out and say, yo, I was just trying to send a message to the world. It was all it was all niggas. Brago, Brago, I'm sorry. Go I'm to sorry your to jail cell, my guy. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry to say this shit, but this is just what it is, bro. That community, the the element op. Oh, them oh niggas, right? you gotta chill, bro. I no, was... what, what do you mean, nigga? We I spent gotta chill. an hour I'm... just talking about respect about that Listen, shit. Man, get, let him get his shit off. You're just trolling. <laughs> yeah, like y'all niggas relax. Element <laughs> um, <laughs> op, bro. Them niggas are very, very, very stubborn. And they stick to their guns, like, no matter what. I do not think that they would come out and try to publicly shame him and keep that same energy, you know, when, when like, it's on the other side of the spectrum. Yeah, I mean, that's what I, I'm I saying. Think... Like, I don't understand, like, how you can literally just sit there and say, I, I won't stop believing stories, like, after this happens. Like, Exa what? Bro, exactly, exactly. Them niggas <laughs> are just going to be, they're going to make excuses for him. And they're going to be like, oh, well... 
This is why this happened. This is why and he probably feels like this. I know this because I felt like this before. Like, nigga, shut, bro. I can already see it. <laughs> I can literally I already can see, see the shit on Twitter, bro. Like, n- bro. I was doing all the send a message, guys. It was just like, I, I understood the time we were in and it was just trying to and, rally the trying to rally our the reason why the reason and why niggas are gonna be that, like though, I understand your message niggas will be like I empathize with the message that you were that trying is, to send that is that is true but he he honestly can never come out and say he was Anything. lying because he's gonna get arrested for false for, like for falsifying a report he's a celebrity but I'm pretty sure that that nigga is so much if the evidence is so much against him, like, won't he get fucked for, like, lying? Like, isn't that, like, how no, that, like, no, works? No, no, true, true, true. If your girl catches you, numbers in your phone, pictures and everything, you just continue to deny. You never, yeah. ever admit it. You well, never no, no, no. admit I'm, it, I'm, I mean, nah, at some that's, point, that's fucking... at some point, quietly, like... <laughs> 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 at some point, <laughs> nah, bro, at some point... At some point, you gotta be like, I, I, like, I, I, like, I, I that was... That you got me, show, baby. Bro. It's a it's a that prank. Was, that was a, that it's was a, a prank. Jitsu. Like that shit was okay. But me. you're you're talking about like public. it's a prank. You're talking about like straight up like like court. Like isn't that like no? That is you... falsifying evidence and um found a, yeah. a, 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 a a false police report. Um, but it's not major time. Like it's nothing. But he's gonna get all well, the thing is is anyway, like I don't. So he might as well keep yeah. lying. No, I don't sure. know exactly yeah, like, how the law do, works in this situation, go. but isn't it like, okay, like, say, like, I fucking, like, they have some charges on me, right? And I say I didn't do it, and then they prove that I did do it. Isn't it, like, bad that, like, I didn't, like, pretty yeah. much admit to me being guilty? Isn't it, like, worse no, no, than no, if no. I would have admitted to being guilty of it? So it's I like, think, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you take, you talk about, like, no, no, no. it's true like, because yeah. you, you're, you're, like, using less of their resources, but, like, well, Brago said, like, you know, this is not like something like he'll get crazy time, but yeah. he will get a decent amount because they're going to say he that while they could something. have been investigating other yeah. things. He took away their time. He put and a big spotlight on this. Well, I don't think all their resources. Yeah, they could, they could, they could really they could hit him with like at least two or three years, honestly. Uh, I don't they know. That would, be, that would be fucking wild. I think they hit him with like six I months. Think, I don't think they're going to give him jail time. I think, if yeah, anything, I they think might so. give him some fucking like probation but or something. This is what he's going to do, bro. He's going to get on another show, right? And he's going to give another interview and then he's going to cry. And he'd be like, you know, oh, no. and then that's when bro, everything is, I, the whole energy is going to change. It's, He's going to cry. Gonna be some, it's going to be some shit like that. Exactly. He's already doing the sympathy card. Y'all heard it on using, the road first. He's using the fucking, you know, the community to, um, I'm, I'm not going to say it. He's using the community because he knows that they're stupid. And that they no. just blindlessly, they <laughs> blindlessly, they, they, they blindlessly they believe the shit. Yes, bro, they they rally behind the fucking cause, bro. No matter what. Well, yeah, I mean like, that's the thing. They believe they all support, victims they, is the fucking they motto. Support, they support Jesse, Jesse Smilo, the, he, he looking like Shin and Kingdom right now with the morale. He raising all the troops, boy. <laughs> they ready yeah, to bro, go that, out like, here. Like niggas is ready. Yeah, I um, I'm, I'm I was just I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in him because. <laughs> <laughs> this thing got a chill. Bro, this that nigga said, I'm sounds gay like a dad. <laughs> but no, bro. I come from, bro. That's wild. Dog, that's like, very disappointing. He thought about that shit. Who like, bred I'm the these gay niggas, Tupac. bro? Yeah, that nigga said, I'm the gay Tupac. Like, nigga, shut the fuck <laughs> up, bro. Like, you ain't shoot nobody. You ain't shoot no fucking cop. You ain't, like, bro, get the fuck out. This nigga said, I'm the gay Tupac. That's wild. Where's bro. the that video? Was... Didn't y'all link a video that, uh, that Rob, <laughs> Rob edits? Made, yeah, I sent it to the oh, chat. Oh shit, man! Hey, you gotta put that at the beginning of the grow. That's what that's that's I'm looking at for for it to be at the beginning of the grow. Wait, what is it? The Bro. dude, uh, the uh, attacker, he's uh, he... mask. <laughs> <laughs> He yeah. said, this bag of punches, oh, shit. Boy, punches me right in the face. Uh, when he was telling the story, and then it just kept going to like and different, different, different people, uh, right? He lied. Oh, oh, that was funny, that oh, was funny bro. Oh, oh, my goodness. Because when he got to the Tupac part, they had the, the, the picture of Tupac laughing. <laughs> yeah, the picture. It was like Tupac. I think it was Tupac and Snoop. And then the somebody was laughing. I think it was Tupac. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my God, Jesse. Bro, Jesse. I, bro, somebody out of said all the niggas, bro, in the world. This nigga said Tupac. Somebody it's said like, uh, Jesse, do it. Uh, <laughs> it's like you punch their ass back, <laughs> even if you set it up. <laughs> like, I, I was like, yo, they, <laughs> they had the night like, sign. They had the night sign. Jesse, do uh, it. Bro, that like, nigga, that, when that nigga pushed back, when that nigga pushed back, he's like, hey, nigga, this nigga, like, that was a part of so play. Like, come on, dog. 
What are you doing, bro? Oh my hey, fucking god! Oh, what's shit. The gay Tupac, bro. What's like something worse that he could have said than that? Uh, uh, I don't think it gets. Uh, I, I, I don't think it gets worse, bro. Like yeah, that's like the worst thing. The gay bro. MLK, and then, like, and then and then to make matters worse, bro. Like that nigga said that shit on the mic, bro. That nigga said that shit with his chest, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he was feeling himself. He was feeling himself. Bro, that, that would be that would be like me saying like fucking like I'm the white prince and fucking like like <laughs> me talking about like how many fucking bitches I fuck and shit like that. And then you find out I'm Yo, a that, virgin. That's, that's, like that. like, that's <laughs> literally the, like, the worst fucking. What if that nigga would have said I'm the gay Suge Knight? <laughs> Yo, y'all ever y'all ever been in that trouble, right? Y'all ever been in like serious trouble as far as even when you were younger, right? And then mm -hmm. that's all you think about. You're like, damn, how the fuck I'm gonna get out of this one? Yes. Can you imagine yes. what Jesse's thinking about right now? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse right now is like fucking playing Fortnite. Like, god damn, what I'm gonna tell these people? I don't know what I'm gonna do. We gotta figure something out, bro. Guys. Hey, you got a story. Bro, like one that, time, bro? one time, I got in trouble at school, bro. I came home and then I put newspaper inside my pants because my dad used to whip me and shit. Mm. Bro, this nigga was whipping me. This nigga like. Why does nigga not cry? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say cry, dog. Bro, this nigga made me pull down my pants, bro. And yeah. then this nigga just started going ham. I'm yeah. like, oh, shit. Nah, bro. I definitely have a story Why like that where, like, crying. in the That's moment cool. after I did it, I was just not sure what the fuck How was going to happen. Because it was like, I think it was like uh, in primary school, I went, it was like lunch break. Niggas was like, yo, you trying to go fish? I'm like um, fishing lunch break. I'm like we gonna be go back fish, in. Nah, we, cuz we playing Uno. Uh, uh, Y'all about, yeah, about to go fishing on a lunch break. That's what I said. Yo, I was like, I know, no, but I was like 10, 11. But so now I was like, um, are we gonna be back in time bro, <laughs> before the wild, bell rings? Right? You went to go. Niggas gonna go fishing. So, they, they, they do different over there in Puerto Rico, dog. So like so we went to like this. We went to, so then we went. The pond was like I would say like a fifteen minute walk. That's so, the then, whole lunch so then I was like, it was an hour. So we left right after, you know, I was like, it was like six of us. An hour lunch right? break. Yeah. So, um. Oh, fucking privileged ass. <laughs> we're like, we're 10. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You should have gone like 10 minutes. Eat your fucking like. Uh, get the fuck out of here. So then we all went and then we got there and then that shit was a good ass time. So I'm, we did, we fishing and mind you, at that age, we probably shouldn't be where we were because you could die where we were because it was like a. Uh, you can't swim in where we were it's like fishing. It's a current? Yeah, it's it's like a current, but it was like it was like uh, it's, it's like two kings and shit. It's like a swamp, kind of right. Yeah. So yeah, um, niggas could have died, honestly. But we were fucking around, running in, jumping out. Um, got a lot uh, of fish. We got a lot of fish, right? But then, <laughs> bro, I'm talking about we smell like fish, and then our clothes are wet. But at that time, nobody had a phone, right? What the fuck so, did y'all think I was going to do being wet? It's listen, man, like, at that age, you just think about the moment. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> so then, so then <laughs> we there, and then I'm like, yo, anybody got the time? It should be one by now, right? So then I was like, I don't know. I think we got like 15 minutes left. So I'm like, all right, we said, all right fuck it. Let's go catch some, some more fish. Um, On the way back, we stop at like the sh stop shop, right? And we're like, stop? yeah, so we're like, yo, what what time is it? And school ends at three, right? I think it is four o'clock. There's like, oh, it's three thirty. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like three thirty. I'm like three thirty. What? Half a day. There's like, nah, it's three thirty p.m. I'm like, oh my fucking god. So I run, bro. I run all the way back to school, right? And the thing is, bro, we didn't have our backpack. We didn't have our lunch. We didn't have nothing. All that shit is locked up in the school. So then I'm like, fuck. So I had to catch, like, I need a bus money to get home. The bus money's in my backpack. So then I'm like, oh, fuck. Right? So at that point, I'm in a whole rack of trouble. I should sure, probably brother. go home, right? You should probably tell niggas. Brago, you got I, wait, Brago, I got a question. Yeah. Hey, y'all, look back at what then, I just put in the group. And back then, did they, call your, uh, did they call your house and, like, let them know that you was missing <laughs> classes? Um, Yes. Oh, you already. Fucked. They called you if you yeah if you don't come back from lunch they call your parents. And this nigga yeah. don't got no cell phones. So and I got no cell phones. So they fucking going crazy, right? Yeah. So yeah. I'm in this fucking heap of trouble. I should probably go home, right? So then we get back to the school. They're like, um, "Damn, bro, we in a whole rack of trouble, right?" Somebody says, "My niggas, we in a whole rack of trouble, but 
you might as well go all the way with this shit. <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> this is no, well go all the way. I was like, was that I was like, I was like, what the fuck do y'all mean? We got to get home. There's like, listen, man, we got some dope fish, but I know a spot where we can get some better fish. Yo, yo. So I was like, you I went. was I was scared as fuck, right? But then I was like. Nigga, where? <laughs> where? You was hanging out with Matt. Bro. Nigga, where? Right? These niggas like, yo, down by the harbor. The harbor is like a forty minute walk. Damn. Oh hell no! So then I'm like, bro, did that you cardio up. I'm like, yo, let's do it. We <laughs> we all fucking went to the harbor to catch fish. So then we were bro, down I'm there. I'm so confused. What? Why did you have no you telling the story? Huh? As far I'm, as like a time, a time, from? no, a time Bro, in which like he, after I did it, I was so fucking scared. That's all I was thinking about. Like, like, like when, to, oh, 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 he okay, he, okay, he okay. asked that question. Like, right? Yeah. Have y'all ever done some shit? And then you yeah, thinking yeah, about, yeah, hey, I get it. Yeah, I get bro, it. Keep up. Stop snoring. So, crack, so yeah. then what happened? We went down there. Got down there like I don't know, like after four. Was there for like two, three hours, fucking fishing. Nobody knew where we were. Like, mind you, I had no bus money, and um, I couldn't get all the way home, so I went to my aunt's house, and that walk was like an hour walk. So yeah. I was, um, I walked after fishing, I walked an hour. It's got to be like 9 o'clock at night at this time. This like, is late God, as fuck. Man, it's man. late as fuck. It's dark as fuck. I had to walk far as fuck. Um, I would have killed you. And my clothes are wet. <laughs> I smell like fish, but I got my fish, though. <laughs> I got my fish, though. Were y'all catching fish with your hands? Yeah. But no, we had like a bag. We had like a bag. Y'all niggas is Yeah, we had like better. a bag. So we like, niggas would like be in the water, like fucking try to catch the fish with a bag. So, um, like I said, I had to walk an hour, bro. And I'm talking about that entire time. I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen to me. Because not only did I leave school early, I went to this shit. I didn't come home in, on time. And I'm not going to have my backpack. I'm not going to have anything. I'm dirty. I smell like fish. Yeah, that shit was that shit was the longest walk yeah. ever. And they, so what and the fuck get, did they say when you got home? Oh, I got my ass beat. I got oh, my ass. Okay. I got my ass beat like <laughs> several times. Like I, I, I'm talking about like the thing is, I like, they just they just be like, nigga, you fucking. Stupid. I just got in the house and got my ass beat, right? And the thing is, after we got Straight to school up. the next day, right? <laughs> we got everybody got to school the next day, and then nobody said anything at first. We just walked in a group, and everybody was like. You got your ass beat too? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Everyone just fucking yeah. laugh. <laughs> Everyone just fucking laugh. Like, yeah, fuck, we not doing that shit again. But nah, that shit was fucking, it was the worst fucking shit I ever did in my life. Well, not, like, not the worst shit I ever did in my life, um, but it was uh, it's, it was stupid. It was just stupid. It was one of them situations where you was like, thinking, the, what the like, fuck going on? The only <laughs> situation I can really remember that I was like, how the fuck am I going to get out of this? Or what the fuck am I going to do? Um, So I had like, uh, I had lost like my virginity like at a, I wouldn't say I was too young. I was like fourteen. God damn! Is you lost your virginity? You was fifteen. Fourteen going on fifteen. I was fourteen. Okay. Yeah, so I was fourteen. I lost my virginity, right? And um, this uh, the girl that I lost my virginity to, like uh, like she would text me like every now and then, <laughs> and, and uh, so she was just like, oh, what you doing? Blah, 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 blah. I was like, you know, I'm chilling. What up? You know, just bullshitting. I was on 2K or whatever. And uh, I was like, oh, where you at? Or whatnot. And she was like, oh, I'm at my uncle's house. And I was like, oh, shit. Where, where your uncle stay? Um, So she was like, uh, yeah, he stays in Cedar Hill, blah, 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 blah. And then she was like, I was like, oh, cool. That's, I was like, oh, you know, I stay in Cedar Hill. Like, that's cool. And uh, she was like, um, I was like, yeah, what's the name of the uh, neighborhood? She gives me the name of the neighborhood. Turns out it's the same fucking neighborhood I live in. So I'm like, oh, I was like, oh shit, like that's 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 tight. Like, you mean what are the odds? Cool. So <laughs> like, bro, she keeps it. I was like, so like, what part of the neighborhood you live in? Tell me why, bro. This house is literally the the house right across the street from mine, like directly oh, no. across the street from mine, bro. Oh no. So long story short, um, she was at her fucking every day. No, bro. She oh, was at her God. uncle's house um, for the weekend or whatever because, like, her uh, her uncle uh, and his wife, like, they were pregnant or whatever, and they had a baby shower. And her mom and everybody was over there. And basically, he was like, 
he looked at her. He was like, have you been having sex? And he was like, yeah, you just walk different. And she was like, nah, blah, blah, blah. blah. And uh, like he already knew that like we had dated before because she was she was like oh like uh like my friend stays here or whatever in this neighborhood he was like uh is he light skinned or whatever and he was like does he play basketball because I used to always everybody knew me in the neighborhood because I used to always do like dribbling drills or like anytime everybody saw me like I would be with a ball and was that little tryhard yeah damn I, okay <laughs> <laughs> so like. Like niggas in the neighborhood, was just, he was like, "Does he play basketball?" He was like, "Oh, I know him." But anyway, so um, he was like, "Yeah." He was like, uh, "You been having sex?" He, she was like, "No." Nah. She tried to lie about it, and he was like, "No, nah, nigga, you been having sex?" And he was like, "Either you gonna tell your mom, or I'm gonna tell your mom." Damn. Yeah. So then she. He don't to, even know if she been having sex though. So then she had to tell her mom, bro. And then her mom was like, "Was it Corey?" It's oh, like, bro. Wow. Like, yeah. And then so she was like blowing up my phone, like the girl, not her mom. And she was like, my mom is, she said she's going to come over there and talk to your mom. And like, bro, like mm. as a 14, 15 year old, you like, bro, what the fuck? Like, yeah, boy. Like, nigga was praying. Like, that's was, crazy like, because that's like the opposite of how my, like, my family, well, my, my mom was where. Uh, I think it was like this one girl went to a house or stepfather came home and um, I didn't get caught, but he knew that we were dating. So um, he kind of got it out of her that I was at the house, whatever. So then my man pulled up on me, right? Uh, at my house. I'm like outside chilling. He pulled up and was like, what are you fucking about? I'm like, yo, what are you talking about, dog? Uh-oh. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 12 or yeah 12 or 13 12 like yeah something like that yeah around 13 i would say damn um, that's wild bro yeah and then um he's like yo i'm gonna talk to your mother <laughs> i'm like <laughs> all right <laughs> i'm like all right so you went to my mother's like yeah i heard he was down there with my stepdaughter da, da, da. she's like oh man that's crazy i'm gonna talk to him and then um he left and i was i went in and she was i was like what do you say I said you were downstairs you're down there with his daughter I was like, oh, damn. She's like, that's crazy. Did you wrap it up? I'm like, oh, I ain't do nothing, mom. I ain't do shit. I was just My, my was fit just is there. totally like opposite because, like, my mom, like, well, she had like three boys first, so I'm the oldest. Yeah. And, like, she's like totally like overprotective as far as, like, nah, like yeah, man. like I can do shit, but, like, she's like, she over exaggerates and she like overreacts to everything. Like you Nah, my mom. She was like, "Oh, go ahead." Oh, I was just finna say, I, I, I was finna tell you about this story, bro. This, uh, where I, where I got caught fucking with this girl from church, and bro, it church. was so. You talking about Deja? Yeah. Damn. Uh, what? Uh, like I said, names. Dropping yeah. names. <laughs> um. Bad yeah. Now. Yeah, but nah. I mean, she's straight. She always looked good though. Um, but nah, so look, so my, my mama and her mama, you know, they was like real cool and shit. So we go over there and then they like, oh yeah, we finna go to the mall and shit. Like y'all can just chill at the house by yourself. And what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, I'll just look at both of them and I'm like, bro, why yeah, are y'all you know. doing, like, why are y'all doing this? So bro, but so it turns out that like her, um, her mom's sister was like coming through. Uh, you know, and she was just gonna be chilling at the house and shit too. So, uh, the girl she like locked both of the fucking locks and shit, mm. and then or no, she thought that she locked both of the locks. She whatever, <laughs> what, whatever, whatever that meant, right? So we're in the fucking uh, we're in her room, and you know, and then she was like, "Yeah, I want to show you my room." So on, and, so forth. <laughs> yes, and then, and then, bro, so like. She literally, she literally lays on the bed, and then Spreading I'm like, it. I'm like, what are you doing? And then she was like, man, come on, like, you know, we finally alone, and we've been talking about this for, oh, for a hot like minute. Twelve, bro. We were fourteen, fifteen. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. At that point, it's like we, we, yeah, we was like, we was like fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, nah, I'm not really feeling <laughs> this because uh, <laughs> you know your mama crazy. And her mom, like, bro, her mom was crazy as fuck. So, uh, she she pulls me on top of her, bro. Right. And 
And then, so, you know, we start kissing. Well, turns out that her aunt had a key to the fucking house. So, supposedly, supposedly, and, and I don't believe this still to this day. To this day. To this day. <laughs> so, uh, supposedly, her aunt, like, came, you know, came through the came through the door. And she, like, came through real quiet. And she saw both of us, on, or she saw me on top of her. Oh come so, on now! So look, look, look. That's what that's what the girl told me. But so you know, every like like once once my mom and her mom got back, they're fucking you know they're talking and shit. And then so me and her mom were in her room because uh, her mom asked me. She was like, "Hey man, I need you to help me with something in Deja's room." So bro, I go in there and then she closes and the mom door. Was too. Bro, she was like, she was like, uh, she said, nigga, don't make me have to fuck you up. And then oh. I was like, I was like, what? Like, what are what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like I, I literally said, like, what are you talking about? And then she said, uh, she said, so Deja told me that y'all were in here, and then like you kind of threw her on to the bed. Like, what the Whoa. fuck? <laughs> yes, Damn, bro. Man. I said this shit always uh, happens to you with these stories. Yo. No, no, nigga. No, it does not quietly. Damn, no. Matt. We gotta start <laughs> looking at Matt. <laughs> <laughs> this seems like so, a Matt thing, huh? So her mama <laughs> to take advantage of So her mom <laughs> So her mama, like, yeah, Deja told me that you uh that you threw her onto the bed and you kind of like forced yourself on her. And then she said then then she was like, uh, she said she told me that you uh that she kissed you back and that y'all were doing stuff but she was like you kind of you kind of forced her hand and i'm like i said i said i I said look and i put both of my hands up i'm like now uh you know i said her name i'm like you give this girl pregnancy test every like two months and you're gonna tell me that you think i forced myself on her i'm like it was mutual you know, uh, and and if anything, I didn't want to do this because I'm <laughs> at your house, and then I'm like, because I'm at your house. So then, like you know, it was just this whole big ass debacle, and then she finally told her mom what happened after like two years, and then now her mom like loves me, but still, bro, it was I mean, a, I mean bro, it was thing, so yo. awkward being in that fucking situation. That's the thing with um with the girls. I, I'm trying to think if there's any situation where I did that. Like at that age, at least, at a, at a girl's house, I think I think I was never really comfortable. Well, actually, no, nah, that's not true. <laughs> nah, bro, um, I used to sneak true. in girls' houses all yeah, the time, bro. That's not not me, boy. <laughs> bro, I done got caught in closets under the bed. Shit, I, done I was under too scared the bed. of that shit. You gotta I, come over to my house, I I bro. bro I've literally, I've literally ran out somebody's house. I had to take bro. a nap. I had to take a so, nap, bro. Because I'm like, I'm like, bro, I'm not getting caught. I'm, or I'm, I'm not. Nah, I, I'm dedicated. I'm not, you're not gonna catch me, bro. Been a dad, right? And just a nigga you're not, just running. Out. You're not gonna, you're not gonna catch me, bro. I'm talking about. I'm taking a nap under the bed. Wait till y'all niggas fall asleep. Bro, and I'm out. Being a dad, bro, and a nigga just. <laughs> Bro. I'm chasing your ass. You're not. You're not getting away. You're not getting away, <laughs> bro. Fuck that, nigga. I'm getting the fuck nah, out of here. I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting your ass, bro. You I'm fuck out of here. I'm doing baseball slides. I'm shit. doing all types of shit. No, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy is when you realize that the dad doing all that shit too. Like, hold on, hold on. Yeah, this nigga's a track star. You, like, <laughs> like, you, you turn around, you hop the fence. You, you like, oh shit. The nigga hey, come right like, off of that. See this nigga? Like, oh nah, no. Nah. Hey, like, imagine if like Matt got to chase somebody. Like, right. Hey, this is like a track star. The fuck? <laughs> you need like forty. The fuck is going on? Like, That's what I'm saying. No, like, the, like the craziest thing, like, the, I was like, this closest to that situation, like, I didn't have to like I'd sneak out or anything, but like, I would be like fucking like while her dad was like in the next room, like, and that was oh, pretty hell wild. No. Wow. Her dad, her dad, right. dead. Her dad was deaf. Her dad was deaf. Her dad was deaf in one ear, though. You gotta add. <laughs> it was different, but like now that's 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 slime no, ball. No, that shit was wild. Like, you know, like, that nah. shit was wild, bro. Like I, I, it was even like e like a, like I, it was kind of being forced on me at first. I think it was. So I, I was like, uh, you took it like no, Matt did. Because if it, it's not that I didn't pull the mat, you took like, that shit. I took what? <laughs> you pulled the mat. You took that shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, you gotta chill, bro. Go relax, nigga. <laughs> Yo, don't be pulling no, mats. No, bro. Like you know how like crazy it is, or like what? Well, at first, I was like super scared, bro. Like, like 
she trying to fuck me at her house with her dad. That's scary as fuck when you're underage. Bro, and then I'm in her room and like he's in the living room and the living room. Oh, that's crazy. That is crazy. That's just yes. insane. You that's trying, you're trying to get shot. She was yeah, she, she wasn't white, was she? She was mixed. She was half white, half black. Oh, but she was from Chicago, so she was nigga. Nah, she's black. <laughs> she, <laughs> yeah, she, was she mixed from uh, Chicago, she black. Yeah, she was nigga. Right, nah, bro. That shit. That that's the most awkward shit, bro. When like girls be trying to do shit, do shit when like you when they pair, like like like, bro, and they don't give when, a fuck because nothing pair. gonna happen to them, really. Yeah. Yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And you're the like, one that's like, nigga. yo, yo, yo. I don't think you know what I'm saying. I don't think this is the right time. And they're like, no, 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 no. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Nothing gonna happen. Bro. And of course, you're like, all right. I'm like, all right. Cool. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you hear the fucking like, door. Like, bro, bro. I remember one time, like, I, I was getting this piece of pussy, right? I, I stole my mama's car. Don't objectify them like that. It was taken. <laughs> I, I, I stole, you know you took I stole it. My mama, uh, I, I stole my mama's car, right? And I was like, like I used to drive to her crib, and then she used to tell me, like, okay, park down the, you know, like park a little further down so like my pops don't see. And I'm like, wait, hold on, your pops stole? And then she was like, yeah. And I'm like, nah, bro, we can fuck in the car. And then, and then she's like, but that's your mama car. And then I'm like, oh, you're right, we can't do that. Yeah. So then, bro, I remember the first time I fucked her, bro. Like her headboard. So she had a headboard on her bed. She loud as fuck. Bro, that shit was loud as fuck. Yeah. And like, like, bro, her room, her room was like right next to her parents' room. Bro, you didn't, uh, it's, it's, huh? You didn't put a pillow on between the headboard? Bro, I had to like, bro, I had to pretty much like figure out a way to so take stuff. the headboard off. Wait. Um, I know back in the damn day, nigga, you in there doing fucking real work. I, I know, nah, bro, because no, 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 because it was like it was a ghetto. It, it was like some rinky ass shit, you know. It was like a, a, a old ass, a old ass like bed set. So like the okay, headboard yeah. was kind of like fucked up. So yeah. then I just like you know separated that shit and I leaned it against the wall, bro. But bro, there was one time like her dad literally woke up while we're fucking right, what the and hell? this nigga walk, bro, this nigga walks out the room. I saw this nigga shadow, and it was the scariest shit of my <laughs> life, bro. This nigga walks out the room, and then he goes into the living room. He made him a drink, and then he sat down and he was watching oh TV. Oh my god! Yeah, bro. Oh, the nigga, the yeah. nigga was watching TV, bro. And it was at the most random time of the night, bro. And he watched TV for like 15 minutes, bro. It ain't and nothing worse than like having a parent comfortable in their own house. And he like, nigga. Yes. It's like, nigga, like, bro, go to sleep, please. <laughs> like, I just want to get my nut and go. So, so then this nigga, he like comes back. And then whenever he comes back, like the nigga looks inside the room and bro, she literally like told me to get off top, like, like to get off of her and just lay under the covers. So I'm like, okay, are you gonna like put your leg on me or some shit? Because like, nigga, this nigga's gonna see two bodies. So, bro, <laughs> this nigga, this nigga just looked at she like, like the nigga just looked in the room, bro. And then he was like, "What you still doing up?" And then you know, she just like, "Oh, I'm just, I, I really couldn't sleep." And then this nigga starts talking to her in the doorway, bro. And then he goes bro, to sleep. Oh my god! Like, bro, it was so bad, bro. Like, I was like, Lucky he ain't come take a seat on the side of the bed. Yeah. nigga, I, bro. No, 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 no. What would have been more weird is like if he, if he was, if it, no, what would have made it go dark is if he was like a, a father that molests his daughter. And oh. then he comes and he's molesting her. You're right there watching it and experiencing it. <laughs> Brago, that's, that. <laughs> that's wild. Brago, that's wild. Why would you even? Why would you even take that there, bro? You had to beat this nigga up. Then I'm sorry. Hey, I'm, I'm like Matt. What are you doing then, Matt? Are you defending her honor? Am I defending her honor, nigga? I'm running the fuck out. <laughs> I'm running, bro. Like, nigga. I was, uh, bro, I was damn near. No, but a nigga think he's grabbing her leg is yours. <laughs> bro, like, I tell you, bro, when, bro, I stopped breathing oh, under God. them fucking covers, bro. Like, I did not. I, Bro, it was so fucking <laughs> awkward. This nigga start grabbing the legs. It's like, dang, you, did you real muscular? What's they're going running, on? running lately, huh? <laughs> Yo, know, gotta be thinking it's her leg, and you just sitting there getting your leg rubbed. <laughs> I call it off. 
that oh, is so man, that's that's, funny. that's crazy. That's, funny that's well. crazy. That's crazy. Oh, Hopefully, oh, you bro, know. That's, oh, bro. Like, uh, I remember this happened. Okay, so, uh, my girl at the time, like, uh, we had like a box of condoms, like that I just kept at her house. And I would just fill it up and put like condoms in the box. So like, you know, I didn't have to go anywhere when like we were smashed when her parents was gone. Mm. And like one time her and it was in her closet. Her mom was going through her closet because she was trying to get a purse and they was both going through it together. And the whole box of condoms fell and all the condoms just fell. Damn, on. Well, here's the thing. Condoms. I think condoms aren't. A bad thing to have because at least you know your kid is practicing practicing it's safe bad, sex. Bro, but it's but like yeah, you know that they're having they're sexually active. Yeah, bro. It just yeah. starts that fucking conversation. Um, oh, okay, oh, okay. So the earlier you have story. it, the better. One one more story, bro. And and I'm a I, like just one more story. So, bro, this happened literally when we were like twelve. And Corey's a part of this shit. Oh no, uh, three if he likes it or not, no, nah, it's not. It, it has nothing to do. It has nothing to do <laughs> with any girls. Not. Matt took it and Corey it, watched. It has. It has nothing to do with any girls. So like, oh, Corey, <laughs> the, bro, <laughs> bro, go, stop, stop, stop. The plot so thickens. So I, uh, so so look, check this out. Corey's apartments used to be literally right next to mine. We used to walk over there and shit. So like, one of the homies, his mama used to work at night. Bruh. So <laughs> you already know what I'm finna say. <laughs> so um bro, the first night that you know I found out, like I used to spend a night at my homie, um, at one of my other homie house, and this nigga literally stayed like right across the street from Corey. Or right right across like the uh the parking lot from Corey. Okay. So spent the night at this nigga house, and then this nigga, like, oh yeah, bro, I be going to D house. And we just be playing the game. We be playing Ultimate Ninja. Uh, we be playing the GameCube, you know, so on and so forth. So, bro, we go over there. Bro, why are these niggas drinking champagne, bro? Oh, wow. So, so like, it's nigga, we're just... His mama champagne, bro. Yes, That's his wild. mama champagne, bro. And, like, it was just under the sink. Oh, and, like, like, bro, we was, like, 12. It was, like, probably 12, 12, 10 bottles. Some shit like that. So, bro, these niggas just start cracking them bitches open. So I told my mama that I was spending the night at Corey house. <laughs> and I didn't tell Corey. Oh shit. Yeah, I didn't tell Corey, bro. So my mama is calling me. Like, where is this nigga mad at? This where is this nigga at? mad? Oh. And and like, bro, she was blowing on my phone. Then she called Corey. She Corey, called my mama, bro. Yeah, she called she called Corey mama. Then Corey's mama was blowing up my phone, bro. bro my mama was questioning me, like, where the fuck Matt at? Like, I don't know where that nigga at. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why would you tell Corey that? <laughs> bro, because I had met to, but I didn't see that nigga. <laughs> I, like, bro, I didn't see him, and I think I called that nigga, too, and I was like, hey, like, I, I told that nigga, like, call me back, but, like, bro, we was little, so, like, yeah. you know, that nigga, Corey, he, and then Corey be hoeing a lot. Oh, that's Corey's so, been a hoe. That nigga, that's what niggas say when they always fucking up. <laughs> right, right, right. So, so, look, bro, essentially what happened was we drinking this fucking champagne, and we got drunk, and then we fell asleep. We slept all the way until, like, four or five o'clock the next oh, day. Oh, my God. For what PM or AM? Yes, yes, bro, yes. And like, nigga, I had a, I had a hangover. I was like, yo, what the fuck Wait, is how going old on? You? Like, how old were bro, you? Bro, twelve. Twelve? Yes, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm beating your ass, <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, but look, I didn't tell, I didn't tell nobody that we were drinking. So like, my mama just thought that I was just doing some stupid shit. You know, just like Matt, what, what you was did? you doing? Well, okay. which which I was, Dog. and then and then Corey's mama was questioning me, bro. bro and then I like, was like on his ass, like bro, she pulled I got, up on this nigga, bro. Yeah, yes, bro. She like pulled up on me, bro, and embarrassed me in front of everybody, bro. Like nigga, it was the worst, bro. Yeah, and then Corey like I think I got those. whooped. I think I got whooped by that nigga mama, and I got whooped by my mama, bro. Now you deserve that shit though. You disappeared till five p.m. the next day, nigga. Yeah, yeah, they That's whooping a, that ass, boy. Hell, bro, uh, no, bro. Like we was. But we used to do like a lot of shit, like uh, the same nigga house. We used to go to his house and spend a night because his mom was like a nurse, so she would work overnight. And then nigga, we would like walk like twenty minutes around like the apartment. Like we would play nigga knock in like different like neighborhoods. Like Wait, say that one more time. We play, play nigga knock. Oh, I never heard. I guess that. we knock on doors. Nigga knock. Nigga <laughs> knock is the same thing as ding dong ditch. Oh, okay. <laughs> but we ain't had doorbells, so we just call that shit nigga knock. 
Okay, gotcha. Yeah. But and if we was we went <laughs> to like four, five in the morning, bro, like in other neighborhoods. And this is one time like the cops actually came to like my apartments or whatever. And this nigga Matt was like running in front of like, bro, they is is bad. Nah, it's bad. nah, we never, I, I never had it. cops pull up. The cops never really, you know what I mean? Um got onto us like that. But we, like I said, one of the things we used to do is like go to stores and like act like we were fighting this shit. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We go in this crowded like supermarket and like be like ten of us act like we're fucking fighting and then So sure, that's wild. <laughs> 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 like yeah, how bored bro. must y'all been in Puerto Rico to be doing this Dog, shit? Bro, hey, bro. And, and the thing is at that age it was like it was evening, it was like 80 degrees at night, perfect weather. We were fucking chilling. It was like, yo, let's go do some shit. We either do that or you have like neighborhood hide and seek, which is like uh, hide and seek within like. So you was a young Jesse Smullett. You was trying to f- stage a fight, is what you're trying to say? Nah, 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 nah. Um, well, I guess. You said so. young Jesse Smullett. <laughs> I guess so. But the thing is, I wasn't going to the, to the media <laughs> after and acting like a hero. Nah, but nah, that shit was fucking hilarious because people just ran every time they thought it was like an actual fight. Like everybody ran out the fucking building. <laughs> like it's like, yo, I'm not sure what's about to go down, but I'm fucking out of here. But then eventually people started like noticing us and then chasing us every time we went to the store and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nah, they, they never caught us because it was like it was too many shortcuts and all that shit. And like I said, we used to play like uh, hide and seek in the neighborhood. It was like a radius like four blocks or so you could hide. But be like mm. thirty people at least. We're like, bro, like y'all niggas was catching fish with backpacks. I'm pretty sure niggas couldn't catch y'all. Oh hell like, yeah, yeah, we was fucking. Like, out of y'all it. niggas was different. Yeah, <laughs> like, it was like we like be under houses and shit. Like y'all yeah. niggas was born in Wakanda. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was here, some Nigerians. Yeah, different. these niggas was different, boy. Was they catching fish with backpacks fish and with shit. Hands and backpacks. We're out here, dog. Do nothing. Right. It was fun as fuck, though. I say that. Brother got like that ancestor strength. That's when life was. That's when life was simple, dog. All you had to worry about was like, where the fuck you was gonna hide? So these things they don't find you. But nah, that, mm. shit, that shit was good. But um, and what pond you gonna go to after school? Get the best fish. Yeah, <laughs> I never, I never went fishing again after that. Ever, I never did that shit again. That shit was like, I was like, nah, I'm done. Um, but shit. Uh, six then, nine. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Um, yeah. Takashi69 update. Um, Takashi69 at this point, he is he has a guilt, guilty plea, right? And yep. with this guilty plea, no jail time, apparently. No jail yeah, time. Full, full yep. cooperation. Full cooperation, no jail time. Now, I'm seeing a lot of people on the timeline saying 69 is a snitch. Um, that's some bitch shit. You don't snitch. And while I agree that... He was doing these things with these men, and he was a part oh, of this boy. organization. It's a Here it's we go. shit. But these niggas tried to kill him. Apparently, one of them was fucking his baby moms. They were stealing money from him. At this point, my nigga, I'm snitching on all y'all. Nah, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Look, look. Bro, that's wild, Brago. What For is? one. No, I think I'm snitching too with these circumstances. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, and bro, my money, nah. I think I'm snitching. And I get no jail time. Oh nah, boy, this is, yeah, this, boy. Oh look, yeah, look, look, that's wild. That's wild. For the simple fact of the matter is like, nigga, you was just gang gang, and <laughs> like like before you got locked but up. But I didn't know you was trying, trying to kill me though. Nah, bro. That's <laughs> look, look, bro. I was, look, you was not, you no, bro, look, Matt. There was never gang 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 gang. There was never one of us. You bro, you gotta look yourself. You gotta look yourself in the mirror. You gotta look yourself in the mirror and be like, okay, why was why why would they try and kill me if I like like bro? Look at the way that nigga was moving. Look at all the shit that they he thought was I knew too much. That nigga felt like he <laughs> they was, was right, doing, bro. Exactly, exact, bro. For one, was right. for one, he knew too much. For one, he was doing too much. And then for three, bro. Like nigga, you were just at bro. He they ducked too. That nigga they ran. That nigga ran with that whole persona, but but that's them niggas' fault because they, they were behind him. So look, it, it's a, it's a, it was a fair trade. Like it was a business deal. You know that nigga pays these real gangsters and shit to, to you know to protect them to you know so he can actually be into that shit that he's in because it's like he's a suburb kid. 
And yeah. you know, well, I don't he, know if he, Suburb, but he, he, he did say that he, he, he had to sell a few drugs here and there and do do this do this bullshit. Nah, bro, that nigga went to a private school, bro. Like that's facts. That, oh, that okay, I didn't know a, all that. Yeah, I, I, I don't think he was about that life at all. I don't think he was about that. I don't know if he was that nigga jumped. That nigga jumped into the safari. But he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't a gangster. He jumped into the safari. When he should have just been in the bus, like looking at the animals from a distance. Yeah, but when you find out that the niggas that were in the safari with you were trying to feed you to the lions, then my nigga, I'm gonna feed you to the lions. Nah, bro, that's stupid because look, bro, because nigga, it's you betrayed me first, bro. But they didn't. They bro, you tried to kill me. They tried to kill him, and they was fucking his bitch. Yeah, Yeah, and 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 they were stealing money from him, stealing money from him. I might what even tell him shit. No, 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 no. Look, bro, yeah, they, they mother, they made brother gotta get, get bro, out of here. They too. wasn't stealing money from that nigga. That nigga just did not know where his money was going because, bro, after nah, he a, talked like, about like, it. Look, man. you gotta think about this. The way that this nigga's moving around, you always gotta have these people around you, bro. You gotta pay these niggas. Then on top of that, because of the way that he was moving, he was compromising his own money. Like he couldn't perform at certain venues. That nigga couldn't do certain things. No, so. Well, man, he talked well, about the fact that as far as bookings, like they would tell him, okay, they're booking him for this price, right? So they're booking me for five hundred thousand. You talk about it specifically right. after he got in all this shit, and but they right. were booking him for like three million, right? And then all they would say, oh, it's five hundred thousand, and he would get a cut of the five hundred thousand, but they would take the rest of the money. Yeah. Nah, bro, bro, the, I. Like that's how that nigga was describing that shit on the Breakfast Club. Mm. But bro, the thing the thing is is With like, his mom's address getting leaked too. Like that's some shit yeah. that your niggas know. Yeah. And then remember he got kidnapped and all that shit. That's his niggas, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's his niggas, man. At, at that bro. point, bro, I'm snitching. Fact. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, bro, I'm then, with the then whole you're gonna shit then you're gonna die. Too, but- no, I mean, he's in a witness protection program. Yeah, he might be witness Bro, protection. Bro, that witness protection program is not going to be for the rest of his life. Wait, he's going to go into. Uh, so I he's think not it gonna did. Be, wait, wait, so he's not going to be a rapper anymore. He just nah. Take the witness protection. Yeah, witness protection. Damn! Wow. That's, Bro, that that's, that's nigga, that crazy. nigga is not. He's going to be Montana. Like, like, Bro, witness protection is not gonna last for the rest of that nigga's life. Yes, it is. Not, it's yeah, not. It's not very hard. You know, like he, he, he really messed. He really messed himself up because, like, let's just say he he didn't do what he did to the people in Cali. He could have left New York and then maybe tried to move to Cali or tried to move. To That's Texas, what I'm saying. There's a lot of places now. He's, he's like everywhere. Yeah. He can't go anywhere. No, but he got to go. He got to go like somewhere. That's you know. Where like Wisconsin rural. or South yeah, Dakota. Yeah, yeah. South Dakota is wild, but that's that's perfect. South Dakota is perfect. But the thing is, that's all the way to Alaska, dog. But the thing is, with him though, are you gonna f- fight the urge to use social media? <laughs> because here's the thing: to, when you've used social media like for your, this long, your whole can life. you can you go to South bro, Dakota? If your life depended on it. Hell yeah! What the I don't, fuck? Social media. No, that you say that You'd now. Be surprised. You say that now, surprised, bro. Yeah. That yeah. nigga sold his soul people, for people, attention. Social bro, media like, is like drugs. Yeah, yeah bro. Drugs, but think about it. Hit, 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 How long can, can you go without your phone, Ali? No, he can still go on his like timeline, and, like go through shit, but he can't post nothing. That's bro, but that's what I'm saying. Fine. That becomes addicting, like posting yes. shit, people yeah. noticing you, like he, because he's going from the the most popular and rapper. My life depended on it. Fuck that nigga, shit. Say that nigga, shit. Nigga, what you mean? Bro, it's bro, real easy, n- Ali, easy, Ali, it's Ali. It's real easy to say that shit. Ali, you, yeah. you don't know if your life depends on it when you fucking a girl raw, but you still fuck bitches raw. <laughs> that's funny Shut as hell. It's real. It's real. How is it not? It's real, it's real easy to say, like, oh, I wouldn't do that. Like, bro, you got, you're talking about a nigga that literally sold his soul for attention. Yep. That he, he thrived off fucking, that. He sold his soul for clout. Everything that that nigga was doing, bro, like, like, bro, why the fuck would you go to O Block? Yep. Like, like, why would you even do that? Why would you do it? Everything he did was for clout, and now he's going somewhere where it's like you're you're nobody. At the end of the day, you gotta live a regular ass no, life. You, ha- you have I mean, to be nobody. Have to, so he, yeah. he he does. He has to I, be nobody because yeah, the nigga's exactly. Gonna die. He's not like, given a choice. He has to do it. Like if I was. If someone were to tell me you cannot fuck ever again for the rest of your life to live, I'd be like, okay. Hell no. Bro, Ali, you would take that chance. That. You would be like, okay, hey, uh, <laughs> like, like, I guarantee you would take that chance at some random point. You definitely would. Well, right. bad 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 you if you knew, if you knew, comes up to you, you're going to take that chance. If you knew that you could get away with it, 
and then like there's a sli- there there's no like, dog you can't be zero. playing with that shit if someone says dog you fuck another chick in your lifetime you are fucking dead i'll be like okay Nigga, you still gonna try to fuck some shit. I'm sorry. No, I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, it's, you, it's, it's sex. bro, you say to. you say that shit, bro. Like, you you making it sound like that shit's just gonna be easy, bro. No, let's, let's, I never let said a, it was gonna be easy. Get butt I, never, naked no, in front no, of no. I never said it was gonna be easy, but I'm saying, but if my life depended on it, man, my life is more important than fucking sex. The fuck? Shit. <laughs> I don't want to live if I'm not smashing. So I don't Boobies know. Like, more important right? than water, nigga. A woman's butt. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Let's clarify that. Yeah. Let's clarify that. This is what you're trying to say. <laughs> we know the terms of witness protection shit, though. Can he still like possibly be a public figure? No. I don't think you can. No. 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 It's uh, no way because witness protection is supposed to hide your entire head. identity. Bro, wit- witness protection is designed so that <sighs> nobody yeah. knows who you are. We probably they, don't even know the whole social security number. Everything. They move. They move your whole family. You. To, to you know, to to a like, to a spot where nobody is gonna be able to recognize you. This nigga about to get tats removed. This nigga about to cut yes. his hair, all dye his hair back black. Yeah, they might not even, What's it called? They might even not even put him in the country. They might put him like somewhere in fucking Iraq. Nah, or some nah, shit. nah, I think they gotta put him in the country though. Yeah, they gotta, they gotta be, put gotta you in the country. You got, oh, they gotta put you in the country. Yeah. Oh, I'll yeah, move yeah. his ass. He's like, about to be in like Iowa, or some shit like. Yeah, he gonna be Montana, like that. Idaho, some shit he like that. Cannot have some the shit rainbow that hair. About. He, he definitely gonna have the tattoos covered. He gonna have to. He's not but gonna the be Daniel. You know why? It's hard for me to figure that witness protection would work today, just because of how much. Accessibility we have. Niggas, How many oh shit, I saw like, six yo, nine. I saw exactly. six nine. Like, like, mm, 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 mm. Bro, Man. the thing is, is that witness witness protection shit like that. That shit didn't work. You know, with like uh, with with federal informants and shit back in the eighties, back in the nineties and shit. Niggas were still recognizing people, and then they killed them. But shit, so, all like, that, you gotta you gotta think like fucking. If we're talking about like the fucking federal informant for like fucking Pablo Escobar, yeah, that's obviously, that's yeah, like. If if we're just we're talking about like six nine, he fucking snitched on some like pretty much low fucking some New York blood. Yeah, random fucking New York game. Like these guys don't know how to fucking find people through witness protection and like I, mean, yeah. bruh, I wouldn't be worried I mean, about those. See, if they see him, it's probably on site. Don't get me wrong, but like that, they're not gonna know how to like fucking find yeah, him. Yeah, they're not gonna find him. Like he just can't go back. The thing is, he can't go back home. <laughs> Ever. He can't post. That's fine, bro. Him. And then, but but look, this is the thing, bro. You don't know what type of ties niggas have. Yeah. If if they're if they're big enough if they're big enough for a motherfucker to put a Rico on you, come on. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I'd rather, but like, I'd rather like, do that nigga, than be in jail. And, and, no, all all I'm saying, <laughs> I, I feel you on that, bro. Yeah, but bro. Like, I'm free. But, I got my thing, I got my kid the, with me. I'm just the the <laughs> thing is though, bro, is that look in this era of social media, it's gonna be tough. Like somebody is gonna be able to like, bro. You got to think about this every day. For like a year and a half, you woke up, you look on Instagram, that nigga is there. On Twitter, that nigga is there. Facebook, yeah, but not everybody. That nigga, you think you're going to have to have get uh, some facial surgery or some shit? Bruh, it's possible. Like, he's going to have to. They're really going to have to help that removed, nigga out. Though. Yeah, you gotta get a tattoo removed. removed. The tattoo's gotta I mean, go. But the thing, but the thing is, it's like removing tattoos. That shit's not that an easy time. process. That takes a lot of time. They and might just like bandage up his face for a while, like just. Okay, so by the way, this is what the said. It's it says. Uh, it is understood that the defendant's cooperation is likely to reveal the activities of the individual and witness protection may be required at a later date. So why it's are not, they releasing all this information? It's not. Uh, it's the information error. Yep. I don't know. Take no, I, I feel like, feel like, like in cases like, like this, maybe? I don't like they're not helping this nigga out. If he got, if he got to cooperate with them, I don't think he's going to like, witness protection. Honestly, I think this guy's gonna fucking come out of jail and start fucking talking shit. You about saw, him. you saw, Meek yeah. Mill was uh, telling Axe stop posting him. We don't, we don't want him no more. Or like we didn't, we ain't listen to shit no more. Meek Mill. Yeah, said I seen that shit. shit but Meek Mill, Meek Mill is a fucking. Yeah, Meek Mill said that. Meek Mill is a hypocrite. Like, well, here's the thing. I think Meek. Now it's looking at uh, I'm about to say snitch nine. Why does six uh, nine? Uh, sorry to interrupt you, but why does Meek Mill think he's fucking to co- or he's academics main fan base? Like the fuck, who, who, what do you I, mean? I think with Meek like... Mill right now, well, Meek Mill is very vocal, like a lot. He's talking about oh, yeah. like, a lot of shit recently. Um, I think right now he's just comfortable as far as like where he is in in the rap game. So for him and six nine and what he represents, Meek Mill is saying, yeah, we don't want you in our culture, but. I know for Meek Mill when he was on the Breakfast Club, yeah, they asked him, say something like they asked him like, like, like "Would you go to jail for somebody?" He's like, "I ain't going to jail for nobody." 
So it's just like, what are you, you know, talking about? Six nine, just so you, yeah. but, but I guess for him, six nine was in it. He was doing the shit with them. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you part of the crew? I think, think Meekville is more so saying like I'm not about to sell a, a pack for somebody, or I'm not about to just you know something like because I'm, I'm not about to go to jail for something. Well, they, like they were saying they were saying that yeah. um, would you um, as far as the civil rights shit, like if would you go marching and would you go to jail for somebody? And he's like, no, oh, okay, I, yeah, 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 I ain't doing all yeah. that. So, um, I mean, I just hey, snitching on a nigga. Though. I feel like. Six nine will still have a fan base when he gets out. People are gonna still want to listen to him for sure, but yeah. it's gonna be dangerous. It's only the black people that's gonna disown him in the hip hop culture. A lot of black like people gonna urban, still urban, him. urban hip hop culture is gonna be like disown him. Like, go oh, get that snitch for well, fuck him, da da da. But a lot of his other fan base, they don't get, they don't really care about that too much. Like they, the music yeah. style, oh, I don't give a fuck. Because his other six, his nine, other fan base is just like him. If six nine yeah, drops a fucking song talking about how he's a snitch, I will fucking blast that shit. His his yeah, other fan his other nigga. fan base his other fan base <laughs> is, <laughs> like 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 most most of his fan base is just like him yeah. where they're infatuated with like the you lifestyle. know what goes on in the hood yeah. what goes on like and that's why they listen to rap because they want to hear you know they want to hear about it but not go to it like I said the safari it's like nigga you go inside the little bus and then you you look at the you look at the animals you know and you're close enough to them. To where you can see how they operate, but you're not close enough where they can't touch you, where they can't harm you. Well, I saw so, a video yeah. the other day where this nigga found a way to jump into the tiger, the tiger, uh, the tiger cage. That, no, because that nigga <laughs> literally got out. Yeah, that nigga's dumb. Like niggas that, bro. That oh my dumb. god, bro! This nigga and jumped he got his the... ass ate the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. Gosh. The thing is, the tigers like they're shooting guns and shit, try to like scare the tigers away. When one of those tigers came back and got his ass, boy, I was like, they was shooting oh, guns, bro. Wow. Yeah, and they, they was shooting around it. The tiger was like, nah, nigga. I nah, got bro. Uh-uh. Nah, uh. I <laughs> see this good. nigga. But this nigga was looking around like, damn. Oh, what? This, like, nigga, this nigga body was like, like fucked. It but he was like, looking around. Like, yeah, because it showed, it showed after. They showed after. But he's looking around like, what happened? Like, nigga, you jumped into a cage. Like, a fucking... <laughs> Tiger this cage, nigga, like shoulder blades and shit, was diced. What are you, bro? The thing the is, white meat, bro. the thing is, I think that's real fear, right? I think that's when real fear is coming out of you. When you have like an animal, uh, like a couple you can't thousand do anything. animal that, that you, you can't, can't say, about. that you can't say stop or I, this hurts or you too. Can't like fight this nigga don't care. Back effectively, he about to maul your ass, dog. He don't, he don't hear stop. He don't understand that. He don't understand no. He don't he, feel he having your a hand. meal. That nigga wants he, to eat. Yeah. But, That's crazy, bro. That that shit. Um, with with six matter, nine, bro, like a gorilla. Yeah, niggas, niggas are definitely niggas are definitely gonna <laughs> fucking uh bless you. Listen to them still, because I mean, you know, cases like this they only improve uh your public your re- yeah they 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 only improve improve your public appeal because yeah, so niggas gonna know. be listening to that shit just to hate on that nigga anyway. Bro, I'm telling you, dog. If he him? comes out and he fucking trolls everyone, talking about like how he's like a snitch and shit like that. Nigga. Oh my god! And dude, you a would... bitch, nigga. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Niggas is not bumping that track. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That shit would be fucking funny. <laughs> if he comes out and puts out a song and then like does all this like trolling shit and continues uh, going, it's whatever. It's gonna still be funny and people are gonna still look at him. But and a lot of rappers, a lot of rappers, not gonna want to work with him. Not that he was working with a lot of rappers. But, uh, before, why the but, fuck like, would he do that? Like, does he purposely like want to kill himself? I think Bro, he want to make some money. Make money. That nigga, that nigga yeah, I mean, has he doesn't have much money already, anymore. He's already sold his soul for attention, so he would do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Because especially the niggas, like, you feel like the niggas that were trying to plot against him are in jail. Yes, exactly. Like, like that yeah. that nigga already had this like this aura, this you know, this this attitude about him that he felt like he was untouchable. But honestly, so, like if I mean, he got, if he got like, enough money, niggas gonna rally around him. Nah, bro. I mean, nah, you, you guys bro. gotta think about it like this, right? Okay, so he's got like maybe like one mil, if that. Yeah. Saved up. Because like he, 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 he had he said one point seven in his bank account. Bro, okay, so but if that, you got I mean, one point, if you got one point seven in your bank account and you're shit. fucking in Alaska and living on the countryside, that shit can last you your entire life. I mean, that's true, but like, one, does he want to live like that? And yeah. Do you want to like, live? I, I, I mean, bro, I bro the thing is, when you get into a lifestyle like that, I don't know. I that nigga doesn't uh, look, I, bro. I don't think that that nigga feels like he can be touched. If that nigga beats a fucking Rico case, yeah, I mean that. Yeah. Nah. Like, bro, that nigga is not gonna. But like, oh, like, and, and I then, just thought about this. If you're if, if you're really in the shit, you can't fuck with six nine. 
Bro, like if you're like really you doing I'll, shit, I'll put a bet if, that six nine dies if he comes back the, and does this. The thing is, shit. if you're associated with six nine in any way, everybody gonna think that you a snitch too. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like if like so if he goes back, say he goes back to New York for some reason, all those niggas that was behind him, they can't be behind him no more. They're not gonna fuck with him, bro. Like niggas are gonna you know call them you know call them out on their yeah. character. Because, you know, because they're associating with him. Yep. So, look, the thing is, it's like that nigga's either going to go solo and, you know, somebody just going to get that nigga whenever they get that nigga. Like, what, well, I, what I can envision happening, what I can envision happening is obviously, you know, when he first gets out, he's going to be hot because, like, you know, uh, if, if you touch that nigga, then, yeah, you might get fucked up. But I think what people are going to do, they're just going to bold their time. Yeah. Wait around for a little bit, and they'd fuck that nigga up in like five years. Well, the real question is, what are we gonna do about Charlemagne? That nigga, oh, Charlemagne, you gotta suck his dick. That, Charlemagne that, gotta, gotta suck his some dick. dick. Yeah, because yeah, six nine, he says six nine beats the case. He'll suck his dick. That so, nigga's gay, bro. Um, I'm not <laughs> sure what Charlemagne how he's gonna do this. Gonna be recorded or what? I don't know if it's gonna happen <laughs> in a Breakfast Club. But Charlemagne, man, like that's why you don't say shit clip. like that. I was watching the clip. Why did he even say that? Because so, Charlamagne, that's he how he said, is. that's how sure he was. Yeah, that's how sure he was. Yeah. He's not yeah. get out, yeah. But, you know, Charlamagne be saying, like, shit like that all the time. That nigga, no, I'm convinced Charlamagne probably and, is, like, some bro, that shit, that <laughs> shit's so weird, bro, that, like, this nigga might not get any jail time at all. But the thing that is, nigga, he, that, the nigga, thing that is, means that nigga really knows. Well, shit. here's the thing, that nigga, yeah. no, bro. Of course he no does. No jail time course, is ridiculous, bro. bro. On the breakfast because club, you're giving up the entire operation from the from the connect to the people that are the, running it, you're giving bro, up they pay me my everything. Bro, on, on the bre- on the Breakfast Club, that nigga was literally taught. Like I, I, I feel like from like from revisiting that interview, especially like after he got locked up, that nigga knew he was about to get locked. He knew up. it. He knew it. Like he knew that he was about to get got. Of so course, he was. Sep- on, he started separating himself. Yeah, from he's him. like, man, well, those dudes. Tried, da da da. He tried to. Nah, he they they to had him on too much himself. shit. They had him on too much shit at that point. Yeah, it, he was like, he was already associated. Like they already probably figured out, yo, yeah, this nigga's knew. the money behind yeah. all of this shit. They already knew. And and that nigga even said like he had feds outside watching him. Yep. He knew that. Yep. So, bruh. All that right. Nigga, um, nah, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Nah. Now, go I was ahead. saying like, um, shit, we've been going for a minute now. It's late as fuck. I was gonna say the last thing was um Demi Lovato is back in rehab. Did we talk about that? <laughs> Bro, fuck no. Demi Lovato. Yeah. I don't think we talked anything about that at all. Yeah, she's back yeah, in seriously. rehab. Like, um, because you know what happened with the whole uh, bullying after the she made fun of um That's what Savage. She get. Twenty One Savage. So she deleted I mean, her social media. Now she had to check back into rehab because I'm thinking all the jokes and stuff got to her. So now she's back in rehab because That's... maybe she relapsed or whatever. Um, I'm still smashing. You ever been in a school and like your shoes is busted, and then but everybody's talking about this other dude's shoes busted, and you just start laughing, and it's like, oh, oh you want to laugh too? Yeah, yeah. Look at yeah. Her shoes though. Don't say nothing to me, boy. You look like a motherfucking uh. Nah, that's what she get. She she shouldn't have said it. It's like you got to. She should have just kept her mouth shut on that one. Yeah. Depends how hot the person with the shoes is. She hot. She's a beautiful woman, but niggas ain't gonna fuck. But still. Yeah. Um. So hopefully, I mean, I hope everything works out for you. Don't want nobody to like, you know, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I hope That's the rehab and everything shit. go yeah, well. But like next time well. when you come back out here and you see some shit going on, mind your fucking mind business, your business and keep doing what you do. Um, Ja Rule is planning a festival. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So if you do something, <laughs> no, well, I don't. Okay, so yes, I yeah, I, 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 I know how people like was like, yeah, nigga, look <laughs> at you, but like she literally did the same thing that everybody else did. Yeah, yeah, but. But niggas just was like, oh yeah. Niggas don't like her right now. Yeah, yeah so like, it, it was like, like Johnson can shit. never laugh at someone for getting AIDS. No, no, no. He he what can't. the fuck, Ali? He, he can't. No, like, no. What I'm saying Magic is, Magic can't like, laugh at the, anyone... anybody. Magic can't even comment on like NBA young M- NBA young boy having herpes. Yeah, you can't do nothing like, like that. But, boy. Wait, this is the thing, bro. This, <laughs> wait, okay. is that serious? Yes. Yeah. The nigga has y'all be taking jokes like wait. I mean, Bro, yeah, I know niggas he has would, HIV. Niggas would flame him. I would flame him. No, 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 no. If someone like just says slip and like they act, some like weird shit happens, like they slipped into a pool of blood. Now they got HIV, right? You Magic Johnson can't laugh that at that. That's just no, funny. no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Remember when Magic they said uh, the Lakers have pulled out of the Anthony Davis trade, right? They said that's the first time Magic ever pulled out, and it's like for Magic, <laughs> Magic can't make Magic can't make that joke. <laughs> he can't. It's just, it's just like right now. It ain't that funny, Corey. Chill. 
<laughs> Magic can't what? make that joke. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if you if you've done some shit or if there's some shit on you, like like oh, that's like shit. Magic saying calling G Herbo G Herpo. Niggas are undefeated, man. I love niggas. You can't like you just can't do. It. Do you guys know about the G Herbo situation? Nah. No. Oh, that shit's where, stupid with his girl. Where his baby moms were like pretty much it that started with stupid. I guess somebody was watching his kid and the girl put the caption like it was like two kids, his son and another girl. And he, uh, it's a baby crawling up onto the girl, you know, whatever. He's like, oh, he trying to eat that. Yeah, that's that what was they said. Wild. And she it was said, just like, even post that yeah. Thing? And then he was like, yo, that's some weird <laughs> shit. Why would you post that with like two children playing? You know what I'm saying? And then the mom, the baby moms got mad. It was like, well, I didn't know about this post. You got herpes anyway. And it was like, whoa. No. Yeah. And then he started. Relax. Nigga. Yeah. And then he went back and forth. Was like, come on. If I called you tomorrow, you'd fuck me. And I was like, trying. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, you just told Facts. me you want to fuck me. But just blah, blah, blah. He didn't deny the herpes, though. So he do got herpes. Oh, he said, well, he said that he would go no, to the doctor the next day like, and get a test. But he said, like, I ain't about to do all this shit for social media. You know what's up. So, I mean, no. it's just like shit like that. You just don't you don't play it. So, like, Magic can't make that joke. He might have herpes. The funny shit I saw was that Jaru was planning a festival. Bro, cancel uh, this nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, said, bro, bro, bro. It said, like, it said I don't like Jaru. Failure. Yeah. Why don't you like Jaru? He said you could find opportunity in failure. Why? Why would? Why? Give me reasons why black you people like don't want black people to succeed. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like Jaru. I just asked you. I just asked you. I just asked you why you don't like Jaru. That's all I asked. He's a bad businessman. First off. <laughs> Nobody want to listen to this nigga after 50. Like, yeah. that's, 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 that's off yeah. top. That's Second off, the shit with the fire festival. And he got bro, no time. And he was like the he got right no jail man. time, no nothing. Yeah. And, and then, now like, you're coming bro, back talking about you're going to start a festival. He like, I'm about to it do it again, a, nigga. It a, <laughs> yeah, I was like, nigga, what are you doing, It was just bro? like, bro, who is attending this? Who do you think going <laughs> to fucking come to the job ja festival? Idiot, yeah, if you bro. see, if you see no. Ja Rule's name with a festival and you go to no, it, you deserve is, whatever Who is attending the Ja festival? Nobody's attending that, Ja. No. Nobody like it's, it always goes back Bro, to the Dave Chappelle skit. That nigga ja. That nigga yeah, ja Rule. Goes, like, ja. let's get Ja Rule on the phone. Let's see what Ja Rule got to say. Nobody ja, give a ja fuck. Rule. Hey man, I'm coming to the festival. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be the only nigga there, bro. That's like that's like a girl yeah, trying to fuck support Magic black Johnson people out right here. You know what'd be funny as hell if Ja Rule have like a festival, but is he really trying to set niggas up to do some kind of Hunger game shit? Yeah, and you get there, and it's only like only one of y'all niggas leave. <laughs> 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 and he te- no, no, and he televised that shit. He's like, hey, listen, man, y'all, y'all showed up. Y'all showed up. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga really got the Battle fire Royale. festival. Come on, dog. Nobody clips, listening. Clips, Battle if you Royale. if Jaru gets y'all niggas to a random that island nigga again, quietly stupid. That nigga said a hundred guns, a hundred clips. <laughs> Battle Royale. <laughs> but then, listen, if Jaru gets your ass to another fucking festival, you deserve whatever the fuck comes to you, bro. I fucking did. Bro, no, like, but the thing is, Jaru, Jaru gonna have challenges like you gotta suck dick for water. And shit Whoa, like that. Damn. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> what the fuck going Listen, on? Listen, man. It's inspired by the fire festival. Everything, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You got to build you your own tent. For water. You got to build your tent out of mud. What the fuck is wrong with you, Brago? That's what <laughs> yeah. was happening. That's what was happening to the fire festival, dog. He going to keep it as authentic as possible. That's he going to have, he gonna have his music playing 24 hours. No, Ali got to watch the so fire festival. Can sleep. Dang, Same. that's the torture chamber. Yeah, Ja was out here. Ja was out here. But nah, um... I think we covered everything we need to cover this week. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's late. Um, nah, uh, <laughs> I, I, we even got time to get to the questions and shit. Like, it's. Hey, we'll man, get to let's the... get a couple of questions, bro, because we say this every week. Oh, we know All right, let's know. get to one question. It was like nah, one bro, question. You gotta get at least five of them, bro. So Whoa, wow. 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 Don't ask that bullshit. I mean, we can do a few questions. Just keep let's it quick. Let's do like quick. three. Yeah, just keep it quick. All right, yeah, let's go. because niggas went and they put the Grove on the fucking yeah, video right. and they didn't go on Twitter. Put hashtag yeah, no. the Grove no, do, on Twitter. Don't do, do hashtag the Grove on Twitter because I try to look up that hashtag and there's yeah. actually like LA Grove and other shit. It's, oh, it's shit. gonna be hard as fuck to. Oh, find. put hashtag the Grove one twenty nine. Grove one twenty nine. Grove one twenty nine. Yeah. Hashtag yeah. the Grove one twenty nine. You should tweet that out. Like you should tweet. Yeah, out I tweeted that before. Hashtag, yeah, before before so, we uh before yeah. we record. Um, let me get to some of the questions because I saw some wild ass questions. Um, oh yeah. shit. Oh, somebody, somebody's been asking, like, can they be a DJ if Matt and them perform in L.A. because he's a DJ in L.A. or some shit. But is he I gotta, white? I don't know. His name I mean, is Tristan. You, you, yeah, yeah, you asked that question like four times today. His name is Tristan. <laughs> no, he's definitely black. Like, 
We gonna show it. It's gonna be Brago ish, right? <laughs> yeah, like, like I got y'all. What the DJ? Man? <laughs> uh, but somebody, this wasn't a question. But somebody said y'all gotta get Steve on here and Trent. Trent, I got. We gotta definitely get Trent on here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, were we supposed that to nigga, have someone this week? That nigga Steve. Yeah, but it was just like so late by time, you know. That that nigga Steve <laughs> literally needs like like Twitter. Twitter needs to cancel. I just nigga, saw bro. this right. I just saw, I saw my homie. Ash- my homie Sage just tweeted. All right. I've had enough of... She said this. I personally can no longer take the whole graphic IRL or obscene IRL sex on Twitter and will now be on following accounts that post or like it. So I feel like... I don't know the ass thing. Did you guys see the ass thing where she had like balls in her ass? Yeah, that was it for me. That was that bro. That was that was literally that was literally what I was talking about, Brago. I think that was it for Sage. I was scrolling and I'm just like, bro. (laughs) Yeah, but I knew it was Stebo too. I I knew. I already knew it was Stebo. Yeah, but I'm like, bro, what the fuck, bro? How do you even like that? Like, nigga. No, because I saw it. I saw those situations where it's like, if I see this. you gotta see this, right? But nah, I saw it, right? I saw, I saw it, and I, th- I saw one ball come out of her ass. I was like, oh, that's not too bad. She had like fifteen. I was like, bro, where were you keeping these? It is ball size. Oh my god! You actually stick and watch the whole. Yeah, I did. You gotta. Oh, you stupid. Nah, bro. No, when I saw that video, I was like, I thought that was the video that I retweeted with the girl with the hot dog. Yeah, that was wild. Fruit. That was nasty. That was fucking nasty. That was worse. Balls is it's worse. Nah, the one with fruit, like she shit out At the hot dog, and she ate it. Oh no, she ate it. it. That shit. Oh, no, okay, the, that thing was fucking hilarious because of like how just like ridiculous it was. Like the noises she was making when she was. Mm, oh, yeah. Mm. So yeah. Fruit, that shit turned you on. No, Max. that shit was fucking gross. But it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> All right. the, so the only person that really put in that actual question was um on Nation Z ninety four said, "Have y'all ever tasted?" Tasted your own nut indirectly? No, bro, like, never, bro. Like he was. A, I think I never put it in a bitch's mouth and then like a girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I, think that, I think that's the example he was saying. Yeah, bro. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, it was, like, it was I wonder how this shit bad. tastes. Like, yeah, not like, once, like, like, ever. no, bro. That's wild. Wait, so have it, wait, so has a girl ever given you head then kissed you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. But but her yeah. mouth wasn't filled with semen. Yeah, her How mouth you wasn't know? filled with cum. Pre cum. Nigga, I, I, nigga, I, I, I know. I bust on a show not in her mouth. <laughs> I know, I know, I said I know I said pre cum. He said I busted on his show. <laughs> Wait, nah, you can't nah. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, all right, all right. I think we've had enough of questions this week. Uh <laughs> Put our right, hashtag the Grove One Twenty Nine on Twitter. I, I I tweet out the hashtag so you guys can just you know every time before we record that I put it out question, there. Have you ever fucking nutted like like? But have fucking, you ever tasted? Uh, your yeah, that was the only question. That was y'all the gotta, only y'all question. Y'all gotta get some better. And I questions. and and before <laughs> before we started this shit, I said Brago, please don't ask that stupid shit. Hey man, and my I man, my man, did. follow directions. So nah, he gets, bro, <laughs> you're wild. He gets, uh, it was literally our only question, dog. Yeah. Give us some fucking good questions. Ask us what we think about capitalism. So, well, one more question. What's the end song? Capitalism. What's the end song? <laughs> People keep asking, what's the end song? The Wait, end song? I thought what? you were supposed to use Spirit Gun. Well, this no, is the one like last some, week. Some the, shit Corey did. Corey, the one that we always use. You know what I mean? We're going to keep y'all guessing, you know what I mean? Shut yeah. up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, but saw some comments. People like uh, Rush just said, "Loving the Grove, keep the grind." Um, uh, people was like, "Yo, there's no such thing as a white athlete. It's wild." Uh, <laughs> That's <actually> true, though. <laughs> um, and people, Tom Brady is a system QB. Yo, oh, it's not like God. Barry McCockner. Yeah, I, don't even, I honestly don't even know what the fuck that means. I just see him tweeted all the time. Yeah, bury yeah. my cock in her. It just means that if it wasn't, if he wasn't in. Bill oh my Belichick fucking system. dude! I am so fucking dumb. I did not know that joke until Corey just said. Me neither. That I never I really realized that name. Was that. Oh, y'all niggas yeah. oh my god! I did not realize. Shut that. up! Bury You're my cock in her. Oh You're my fucking god. trolling. No, I swear to God. I didn't know that's either. Cool. Actually, I've seen that account a few times, and I did. I did not realize that until just now. I, that's like my favorite fucking Twitter account. I, I just, I just realized that too. Get the Y'all fuck out of here! <laughs> I'm not. I'm not cool as that shit. Bury my cock in her. Really? It's not. Like Damn! You, <laughs> you never fully said his name once. No, nah, not allowed. Like not year. allowed. No. So even in your head, you didn't say Barry McCockiner. Yeah, but I didn't. I, my mind doesn't go there. Barry McCockiner. 
Damn. Damn. Your, mind, your mind doesn't go there. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, oh I've never, God, I've never said shit. his name out loud. Once. Yeah, I never said it out loud. Yeah. But now you say it, Barry McCockner. Damn. Like if, I ever, if I ever bring it up in a conversation, I'll always say sports talk. Yo, I'll never say. It. Yeah, exactly. Barry McCock dog. I gotta. Go he like, got us. I gotta go like one of his things <laughs> right now. Yo, shout out to Barry McCockner. Um, <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> 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 like, I'll be alone. Or, have you ever even seen that Twitter before? By the way, I'm curious. Do you even know what we're talking Go about? Go fire Barry McCockney. Or did you just? He's like, he just fucking hates he's a on troll. Michael Jordan and uh, uh, what's called. Tom Yo, Brady. when he posts he's like, troll. like he's when he posts troll. like the analysis you know, of Michael Jordan about, playing like, against plumbers. Is that some shit? Is it a white uh like? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a white like dude. A white, he, white. He, no, but he, the I thing is, the face he posts is like this dude from a commercial. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, HIV commercial too. Isn't it's some it? commercial that he posts, and it's like it's fucking hilarious. I love that account. Um, sometimes he's racist as fuck too, but I think. Wait, bro, did we even introduce the episode? Yo, welcome to Grove One Twenty Nine Podcast. Yo, I appreciate everybody pulling up. Yo, um, we got Ali in here, Corey, Matt, quietly yeah. and Fru. Um, yeah. Make sure Why you do like. You keep reintroducing us. They know the cast. Yeah, but but what if you have new viewers, new guests, dumbass. What, is there a fucking guest in here, dumbass? New people watching. <laughs> new people talking about new guests that like watch the watch the podcast. All right. Yo, like like the video, of course. Um, follow us on Twitter. Um, put everybody in the description. Follow us on Twitter. Um, Don't YouTube, all that McCock shit. Again. Follow by Barry McCock. <laughs> yeah, what Corey said. I and, don't want um, nobody better McCock and nothing. I'll bury it myself. Somebody yeah, buried it. Thank you. Somebody, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Matt take oh, care of that himself. <laughs> Matt don't need. <laughs> Y'all niggas need, Matt to don't relax, need no help, bro. Y'all, you motherfucking man, he don't need no help. Relax, <laughs> Do you think, Just dog? Do you think? Relax. Do you think, oh, dog? We'll get another another story next week of Matt being Matt. But um, yo, like, <laughs> subscribe. We'll catch y'all next week. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Corey said that fucking Fucking player. him and his little yurt gang every time <laughs> I say with the car. Get a yurt gang. Yo, relax. Oh, my mama. <laughs> oh, my mama.